Welcome, welcome, Battle Brothers. I hope you are well. Welcome to the live stream. Very excited to begin. Hello and welcome, my friends, to the Elder Scrolls Online. Today we're going to be continuing one of the main quests, one of the main chapters that came out last year, the Elder Scrolls Online Gates of Oblivion chapter. We did the first part of it, but they only released the second part of the story a couple of months ago, and that's the Deadlands DLC part. Let me show you in the journal. The Deadland. Wyrath the Dramora sent me a letter. He wants me to meet her in Fargrave, a city somewhere in the depths of oblivion. Apparently the Order of the Waking Flame is up to something that threatens both Fargrave and Nern. So essentially, to bring you guys up to date if you didn't see the first part of this story, um, we went to Blackwood, which is just south of Cyrodiil here on the map. Where are you? Blackwood. Here we are. Uh, and here, um, Lord Dagon, one of the Daedric Printers, was trying to destroy the mortal realm once again. But we managed to thwart his plans. But it's not over yet. In the second part of this story, we now unlock two new locations, which is Fargrave and the Deadlands. We've got this whole new area to explore, and also a city that exists in oblivion. So it's going to be interesting to sort of explore these places for the first time and continue on on what is last year's chapter. Now, have you missed yesterday's live stream? We watched the reveal for um, this year's chapter, which is coming out probably around summertime. Um, they're going to have like a new story DLC based in the High Isles. And if you want to find out more about that, um, we, we live streamed the whole thing and I spoke about it. Um, in the link below in the description. But now we're going to continue on with this story. Thanks for joining, guys. Good to see you all in the chat. So you've got to go here to Fargrave, just over here on the map. Um, in fact, there's actually like a little secret way here in um, Marburg where we can actually enter this realm of oblivion. This strange hermit down here as a portal to oblivion. The Celestial Palanquin is an alignment traveler. Will you go to Fargrave? I, I want to go to Fargrave, yes. Good, good. Now, let me prepare your way to the realms beyond Nern. He's cosplaying the Prophet, but the alive version, I see. It says, enter Fargrave. They say this place exists. I can't even read the loading screen, it was too fast. It looks very desert-like. Very pretty. Almost like we're in Starfield. How many moons does this place have? A lot of moons. I mean, it is a realm of oblivion. But damn. Maybe they had some inspiration from Starfield. Who knows? Skyrim or Fallout 4. I've always been a massive fan of fantasy games, so it's got to be Skyrim. Hands down. Even start when Starfield comes out, Bethesda's next RPG. Single player RPG. I'm always going to be more of a fan of the Elder Scrolls series, just because I love fantasy. Same with Star Wars and Lord of the Rings, right? The Anchorite. You're as bothersome as that damn Dramora. No matter. The vote of Rune is placed, and now you die. You brought this on yourself, Dagonist. Oh, <laughs> just knocks him out. Are you? Damn these waking flame cultists, bringing their Mayrune's Dagon madness to Fargrave. Their vote of Runes infect mortals with dark magic. I came to meet someone about all this when I spotted that cultist and my hands began to glow. Just like yours. What is this place? This is Fargrave, a city in oblivion with permanent and open connections to other realms. The cultists place those votive runes faster than I can destroy them, putting every mortal who lives here at risk. That's why I agreed to meet with the Dramora. The Dramora? Lyrinth the Dramora. She sent me a letter. Said the cult threatened Fargrave. Nern, too. 
She wanted my help, but I can't deal with that now. The votive runes are clearly the immediate danger. We should work together on this. I can pay. Oh, if you have money, I am definitely in. Nothing to do with saving the world or anything like that. I, I'm kind of surprised that... I mean, if you could teleport like Lyra through the Dr Dramora, I would definitely be teleporting to come and speak to you. I won't be sending the Skyrim courier after you. All right, I hope you deal with these votive runes. What do you need me to do? I need you to talk to my contacts. Madam Wim's establishment is here in the city. Initiate Tilgo meets me in the burn, out in the Deadlands. See what they know about the votive runes and the cult's plans. Then meet me in the Fargrave Crafting Plaza. The Deadlands is Dagon's Plane of Oblivion, if you guys are wondering. I know Lyrith. It's not like her to show up for a meeting. Really? All I know is that she's a Dramora who has an interest in the Dagon cult known as the Order of the Waking Flame. This is where we were supposed to meet, but all I saw when I got here was that cultist and the votive rune he was casting. Outrageous. I'm glad you punched him in the fight. Ed! Griffith, thank you so much for the $20 donation, mate. Thank you, man. Thanks for the support, dude. You said the votive rune affects mortals. Is that what made your hands glow? I mean, her hands are still glowing. No. The votives mess with mortal emotions, make everything more intense. Not sure why. Lyrinth said the magic in her letter would allow her to recognize me. I think that's what the glow was. If only I could get the grasp to care about all this. <laughs> she just doesn't care. The grasp? The grasp of the stricture. They're an order of Daedra, mostly Dramora, who serve as arbiters and interpreters of the stricture. A magical covenant that allows Fargrave to serve as neutral ground for all Daedra. That's pretty they cool. They enforce the laws, to a point. To a point? Well, since mortals aren't bound to the stricture, the grasp pretty much ignores us. Unless we interfere with the stricture in some way. As long as the cult and its votive runes only threaten mortals, the grasp simply doesn't care. So what you're saying is it's free real estate and I can come into the city and just rob everyone. Khajiit likes them. Tell me more about these contacts you want me to talk to. Madam Wim is a dark seducer who has her thumb on the pulse of Fargrave. Love Nothing it. happens here that she isn't keenly aware of. Degoraf. She deals in favors and information for a price. And the more you seek her help, the more expensive her services become. Ooh. Naughty. She's like Skuma to a Khajiit. And what about Initiate Tilgo? Initiate Tilgo is a member of the Order of the Waking Flame. He was my friend before the cult recruited him. Turns out, Tilgo's had a change of heart. He's been providing me with inside information about where the cult plans to strike next. Where can I find Madam Wim and Initiate Tilgo? Madam Wim runs an establishment in Fargrave called the House of Whims. Just Sounds like a brothel. be careful. She enjoys getting her hooks in new arrivals. Nice. You'll find Initiate Tilgo in the Deadlands, an area known as the Burn. The Plaza of Portals will take you there. The Portals? The Deadlands? The Plaza of Portals is one of Fargrave's most important locations. A series of permanent gateways to other realms in Oblivion. Ah. One of those realms is the Deadlands, the domain of Mayrun's Dagon. This is kind of interesting. I wonder if they're going to use this to get to other realms of Oblivion in future DLCs. I wouldn't be surprised. The Anchorite. What is that anyway? Is it? I hadn't noticed. Look, we only just met. If you turn out to be trustworthy, I'll tell you the strange tale. If not, well, we'll deal with that if it becomes necessary. Does it include an explanation about that silly mask you're wearing? Perhaps. And maybe it's just a fashion statement. Now... Go talk to Madam Wim and Initiate Tilgo while I make my rounds. Oh, well, you look I like a really check crap on my charges superhero to me. Your charges around the city. As a crossroads, it's natural for people from everywhere to wind up here. I check on the mortals of the city on a regular basis, help them as I can. That's why Wim calls me the Fool of Fargrave, because I care. And it's why I abhor the Dagonists. I've encountered the Order of the Waking Flame before. Then you know the cult is evil. They appeared recently, proselytizing in the plazas. Then they started placing those votive runes. Some kind of prayer to Mayrun's Dagon. But it intensifies mortal emotions. The runes are dangerous. I know it. Hmm. Yeah. The glow seems to have faded. For now. 
It looks pretty to me. I'd like one of these at my on my wall at home. Dan, thanks for the ten dollar donation, my friend. Is that a scamp? I just kill it. Oh no! You now be killed by the law? Wait, I'm not allowed to kill Daedra here? What? That's not good, is it? I have a bounty. <laughs> what? This is like a legal society of Daedra. Great. A good start. I'm going to get arrested if I get spotted. So, oh, that, that's also good. I'm holding an invisible sword. Can I get that back out? So let me try unequipping it. Unequip. That might work. Yep, now I have a weapon again. That's good news. Okay, let's go to the fugitives area. Quickly pay off this Not another step. Oh, hello. You I thought you were a stormkeeper. Run, Nernling. Now yeah, I'll just make take, you take pay. this gold. Smart move. Now off with you. I'm a smart Khajiit. I'm not going to be messing with Daedra. I haven't even walked through the city gates yet. I've already got a bounty on my head. This place is dangerous. It reminds me of somewhere from Hammerfell, though. The Alkir Desert. Battle, brother, welcome. Why won't you I? all just leave me alone? Something terrible is about to happen. I just know it. That was terrible. Wait. Is that... Is that later, Taser? <laughs> My moderator is here. I like that you've also gone with a Khajiit. You tried to build my wife for you. What's going on, bro? He's not having a good time at all. Excuse me, sir, your horse is on fire. This place is actually really interesting. It's unlike any other city in The Elder Scrolls Online because it's an oblivion. So you just got like... I mean, I wish I could go to a library and just have floating books like this. I think I'd read more often if I could levitate a book in front of my eyes. Just in bed. Like laying in bed. Oh, this is the House of Wim. So I'm pretty sure this is like some kind of weird brothel. We'll find out. I'm excited. Another poor mortal succumbed to the power of the Dagonic votives. How unfortunate. But what's this? A new face? And what does Madam Wim always say? New faces bring new opportunities. Let's talk. A seducer indeed. Has anyone ever told you that you have an incomparable mean? Most in this celestial palanquin we call Fargrave have the barest patina on their auras. But you? I know multiple buyers who would pay top price for a soul like yours. Shall we trade? Not in Oh, I don't have a choice. I would give you my soul. Not interested in trading souls, but what are the... What's the matter with that person sitting on the floor? What? Poor Josette? She's one of my favorite regulars. At least she was, before the votives affected her. First she became belligerent, then extremely melancholy. Now she's practically mindless. But tell me, darling, what brings you to Madame Whims? Well, the anchorite sent me. She said you know everything that happens here. She did, did she? All true, but I hate to brag. She's an unusual mortal, though, isn't she? Our darling of the alleys. And clever. She sent you so as not to increase her tab at the House of Whims. As a new customer, your first transaction is free. Imagine calling someone you know a darling of the alleys. <laughs> Such an insult. All right, tell me what you know about the Waking Flame and their votive route. I feel like I could be much more wise here, but we're going to go in blindly. Ah, two topics on the lips of many a Fargravian. The Dagonists are mortal rabble with a fetish for destruction. The votive runes are prayers to their prince made manifest. Spells that seem to affect only mortals, like poor Josette here. Any no idea where the cult is placing these votive runes throughout Fargrave? An interesting question. Alas, I have no answer. But you're not the only newcomer to our fair city seeking such knowledge. My eyes about town tell me that Lyrinth the Dramora has come to Fargrave. She's in the shambles, searching for Sister Seldina. Sister Seldina? You want more? I'm giving away an awful lot as part of your free sample, but I am feeling generous today. 
Sister Seldina leads the Dagonists here in Fargrave. She and Lyrinth seem to have it out for one another, though I have yet to ascertain why. Hmm, what sort of business is the House of Wind? As the name implies, I trade in eccentricities and capriciousness. I buy and sell as impulse dictates. My establishment carries indulgences from across oblivion. And information, of course, along with food, drinks, and an amenity for every appetite. Ah, okay, well, I didn't know what to expect. Guys, by the way, G Fuel is 30% off till the end of this weekend if you use code ESO, the sugar free energy drink. Currently, actually, I'm drinking Miami Nights. Pretty good. It's kind of like um, a little bit coconutty and tropical. It's a good drink. I was drinking it yesterday and it's actually grown on me massively. I'm also a big fan of Bethesda's Doom spicy demonade flavor as well. Is there anything you can do to help poor Josette? Now, we don't care about Josette. He said Lyrith might be in the shambles. I don't know about that. I'm tempted more just to go there. A terrible place. I urge caution if you decide to venture there. It's a warren of alleys, tenements, and ruins hidden behind thick walls. Many mortals live there in the most appalling conditions, but it can also be a good place to conduct business. What kind of business? What? I mean, this is a, a business establishment. Oh, innocent mortal. The kind of business best engaged in, where the grasp of the stricture doesn't reach. It's a perfect location to hide a Dagonist cult, seeking to cause chaos and mayhem. I'm surprised our darling of the alleys didn't mention that. Why do you call her a darling of the alleys anyway? Darling of the alleys, fool of Fargrave, woman in the mask. Ever since the Anchorite arrived in Fargrave, she's gone out of her way to help the mortals cast upon our shore, and she asks for nothing in return. Pity I know so little else about her. I thought the name had another meaning, but okay. Let's just go. Oh no, why is this place called the Palestrial Palaquin? You came here without knowing, darling. How refreshing. Like an otherworldly conveyance, Fargrave personifies the existential concepts of transit or passage. It did start out as a strange nomadic realm, after all. That's part of the city's allure. If you need a skooma flavor, it definitely does. Imagine if if they had, like, uh, the next Elder Scrolls Online expansion comes out, if they made, like, a skooma flavor. That would be so good. Especially because it's sugar-free as well. You can grab it from the link below, guys. 30% off till the weekend. What does that mean exactly? It means if you want to travel the myriad corridors of Oblivion, there's no better launching point than fabulous Fargrave. In addition to our famous Plaza of Portals, the entire realm is littered with dimensional access ways. Plus, we have no prints. What would skooma flavor taste like? Why is this important? Without a prince to set the laws and manipulate Fargrave's reality, we're free to shape this city as we choose. The freedom that affords us is sublime. Plus, no prince means less chaos and violence in the streets, rogue cultists notwithstanding. I couldn't help but notice the giant skeletons, though. Aren't they beautiful? One of our best features. <laughs> no one is quite sure who or what they were, but legend has it they once carried the city from plane to plane. Hence the allusion to a palanquin. Is it true? Well, the skeletons are real enough. What kind of Daedra are you? So she's one of Sheogorath's Daedra. This is a really interesting concept for like, a, kind of like a city that exists outside the plane of the princes. A personal query? That will cost extra, my darling. I am a Mezkin, what your kind commonly call a dark seducer. Unlike many of my brothers and sisters, I use my charms to beguile and entice for knowledge and profit. I have no interest in violence. Hey man, if you've played Oblivion the Shivering Isles, I'd definitely disagree. Okay, I liked you. Um, let's ask. We can't talk to Jofie, Josine. I feel like she'd just have some crazy rantings to say if now, we did, though. What should we do with Josette? Hmm? Oh my god, it's Jabba the Heart! Oh my god, what is he eating? Like, some kind of weird crystalline meat. Really enjoys it, though. Who's this? I welcome you, fellow mortal. Why are you so small? As the mouthpiece of great Vruzinbo. For patrons of the House of Whims, my master offers a spiritual lustration. 
Know that... Know that his gentle manner and bearing will elevate your mind and soul to untold heights. Okay, I'd like to experience the spiritual lustration. Great Brusimbu is a magnanimous being, fellow mortal. But even so, even one so gracious as he must collect the tithe for the lustration. For the sake of the House of Whims. Oh, I don't know, man. It could be good. But I feel like I'm getting scammed. I mean, look at this guy. You gotta pay. <laughs> Give God 700 gold. Oh, God! <laughs> what What's happening? This is even part... Wait, what? What did you do to me? Is that it? Great Vrusimbu has bestowed on you the... The blessing that is his dulcet ardor. Let his, uh, let his quintessence adhere to you as the warm embrace it is. What the hell, bro? Great through symbol. Ah, that one's up. Uh, have I got like a buff? Oh yeah, there's a buff. It lasts for 52 minutes. I can't read what it does though. I don't know what it does. It could help us, who knows? Ah. Ninzeru always attracts them, does he not? The curious, the irrepressible priors. You wish to know what Ninzeru can offer you in this house of Madame Wims, yes? Oh, I need to stop giving you money. Let's go and do the quest. Come back here later and give them money. I've been scammed. Wait, who's this? Oh, God. If you want my attention, it comes at a price. I offer patrons of the House of Whims the constrictions of Moath. Know that mortals have difficulty enduring this act, but those that do survive hold no regret. Okay. He's got high hills on as well. Looks kinky F. I don't know if we should do this. On stream. I can't play this anymore because my Xbox has no room for all the updates. I mean, this game is huge, isn't it? I had to delete it from my computer so I could carry on making videos and then reinstall it. All right, let's unlock this way shrine. And now we have to go down here. All of you, stay away from me. Stay away. Stay away. You heard the man. I'd recommend. These are the other portals to Oblivion, I believe. Oh, is this a seducer? Oh no, this is, um, what's the other one called? I can't remember the name. The Saints. Portal to Burn. Uh, yeah, we'll head over here first. Why do you play League of Legends, yeah? What race are you playing as? I'm playing as a Khajiit. Play some PvP. Not right now. After I've done this story, uh, we could do that then. Dun 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 dun! What's with this crazy music? Okay, so we've just entered Fargrave. Apparently I need to go over here. I will get on my horse. His feet are on fire because the ground is so hot. Law friendly. Hey, what's this? Wrap wood. What the hell? That's new. I've seen scrap wood before. Alright, let's head over. Who's this? Dude just chilling here. I'll not ask why you're wandering this cursed place, but I'd urge you to leave. Alright, bye. I shall leave. Maybe we will come back later and see what the heck you're doing here. The voice acting so far seems like a step up in this DLC. It was never bad, but it just seems really good. And maybe I've just played a lot of other games in between that were bad. Who knows? Oh, hello. How beautiful. Oh, my source is supposed again. to meet. What do you want? Explain yourself, stranger. The Deadlands isn't a place for chance encounters. The Anchorite sent me. What can you tell me about the Walking Flame and their votive room? 
The Anchorite promises to get me away from the cult in exchange for information. I hold up my end of the bargain, and what do I get? Another fool seeking knowledge from Portilco. This is the last time you hear. Make sure the Anchorite knows that. I'll tell her. Do you know what the cult plans to do with the votive runes? They don't tell lowly initiates all the details of their master plan. But I hear things. Sister Seldina wants to take over Fargrave. Make it an offering to Merun Stegon. The votive runes play a part in that, but I don't know exactly how. Tell me about Sister Seldina. Sister Seldina leads the Fargrave cell. She has a grand vision for the Waking Flame. It starts with Fargrave, but it doesn't end there. She wants control of the portals. With them, she can hand Lord Dagon all of Oblivion. Even Nern would be in reach. So refreshing to see someone play ESO on PC with zero add-ons, no nameplates above NPCs, and focus on questing only. Ah, oh, thanks, Sunny Day. We do it twice a year. We come back and do like all the storyline DLC, just because I enjoy the lore. And then sometimes I go off personally and do some dungeon stuff like that, but... The story in this game, I think, is more enjoyable watch, to watch than people just doing dungeons and PvP. Let me know if you guys want to see that as well, but, like, most of the time, I think the story is quite exciting. Does the name Lyrith mean anything to you? The Dramora? She's practically all the Order's old guard talk about these days. Seems she's been causing a lot of trouble for Sister Seldina, interfering with her plans. Something's about to happen. Tell the Anchorite. Fargrave's in danger. Where can I find Sister Seldina? The Order has camps throughout Fargrave and the Deadlands. Sister Seldina could be anywhere. But tell the Anchorite to check the shambles. Look for an abandoned building, someplace hot. I heard one of the Devastators complaining about the heat. Someplace hot. Yeah, that, that's not a lot to go on in a place like this. If we were talking about the Deadlands, no. But the shambles is a different story. Okay. That section of Fargrave can't have too many places hot enough to make a Devastator uncomfortable. Are you willing to help the Anchorite? What? You assume every Dagonist is a true believer willing to do whatever their superiors tell them? I joined up because they promised me a better life. A way to escape the shambles. You're a scam, mate. But they lied. The Anchorite agreed to help me. For a price. Price? If Sister Seldina knew I was talking to you or the Anchorite, my life wouldn't be worth a scab on an Ogrim's elbow. I want out! Look. Tell the Anchorite. She can find me at the Bearer's Rest in Fargrave when she's really ready to help an old friend. Tell the Anchorite I'll be at the Bearer's Rest. Hey, she's she using me. you. And I expect her to honor our agreement. There's some water here. We will no longer go thirsty, thank goodness. And it's purified. What a dream. Okay, so we want to go back here. Portal. But I'm excited to come back and explore the dead properly. Look, the Eye of Sauron. Oh my god, why is he like inflaming the ground here? Let's blind him. Rexon. Alright, let's head back to the portal again. Speak to our friend and let her know what we discovered. It's over here. Everyone has that cool, like, orange looking dragon cat, but I've never seen it before. This area is really cool, though, it's really unique. Definitely reminds me of the Elder Scrolls Oblivia. Unlock this way shrine while we're here. Yeah. I'll head back to the portal. Anyone excited for a non Daedric invasion and expansion? Yeah, I'm excited not to have like the world is ending plot again. Because it kind of became like very predict predictable. And you kind of felt like you always knew what to expect or like what was happening. Okay, so I'm going to go. This map is weird. I'm going to go up here. The bazaar. Is it through here? It actually looks like it's around. All of you, stay away from me. Stay away. I like how they're still surrounded. Disaster is coming. Fargrave is doomed. There's no I point. I believe you are correct. No point at all. 
Everyone's very dramatic. Oh, it is the bazaar. Great. Any recommendations for build? Absolutely, players. <coughs> I've had this game in my library for years, but starting has always overwhelmed me. Uh, I'd highly recommend just playing the game, trying out all the different skills and options. It really doesn't matter because you can reset really easily early on. Uh, and you basically just want to like level up to level 50 anyway and just not worry and just like try loads of things out and then see what you like and based off that and then start searching for like do I want to go for a magicka stamina build uh, what weapons do I want to use and then start asking questions about builds but don't worry early on like it's just a waste of time you'll just otherwise you won't explore or experiment dude what is this this is like this is such a cool area I really want to kill Durs looking at me just a fat guy Nomin. Oh, this is where all the guild stores are, then. A maze, though. We'll go down here. Tall child. Jesus. Why are you in a birdcage? Bruh. Alright. This is where we need to go. The crafting plaza. Bargrave is one of the most unique cities I've ever experienced. Big fan of it. All the Dremora just hanging around. An awesome concept. Over here, friend. Lord Dagon will visit disaster upon this ash sheep. Mark my words. These new Dagonists are barely worth the effort. I followed them into the plaza and destroyed the votive rune before they even noticed I was there. And the grass decided to get involved, finally. Hey, did you learn anything from my contacts? Oh, I cannot take her seriously wearing that mask. Madame Wim said Lyrith is searching the shambles for a cult's local leader, Mr. Eldina. Madame Wim didn't charge you, I hope. She usually lets you sample her wares for free the first time. After that, it gets... expensive. The Shambles is a big place, but now we know more than we did when we started. Did you also make contact with Tilgo? He said Caldina is using the voit the vo the votives to conquer Fargrave and look for an unusually hot building. Hot? In the Shambles? Must be the old baths. Ah. The furnaces beneath the bathhouse have been burning forever. It's coming together. But what was that about the votive runes? How does Sister Seldina plan to use them to conquer Fargrave? Yeah, there's no subscription, so you can literally just buy the base game. There's a link below for it. You can get it for like $10 now. Um, or if you get like uh, the main game, you can get all the previous DLC included. Now, what I would usually do is buy the base game, subscribe if you're interested in testing out the DLC, because um, it's all included apart from High Isles, uh, which comes out later. That's usually the best way of doing things. Just so, like, the base game, there's so much content in it. Like, I've not even finished it all. So, there's, it's ridiculous in that content in this game. The votives are pra the votives are praise to prayers to Dagon. The magic only affects mortals, but neither of them knew, knew any more. Damn it. No one is going to conquer Fargrave if I have any say in the matter. I suppose we need to investigate the old bathhouse. If we find Sister Seldina... Maybe we'll find Lirinth too. Let's meet in the shambles. I'll meet you there. Once we enter the shambles, we can work our way together to the old bathhouse. The yeah, shambles obviously. can be a dangerous place, but it's also where the majority of Fargrave's mortals live. Warrens and dark alleys fill the area. There are three main paths through the shambles. We can take any of them to reach the bathhouse. I'm Move, just gonna head mortals, over. Flee. You will see. Lord Dagon will devour you and your city. He has a very Be pretty silent. flower in her hair. Your prince has no power here. <laughs> like taped to the side of her head. Oh. Get arrested, bra. Ooh, the bath house. Place has lots of industrial pleasures. They've already done elsewhere. They did northern and southern elsewhere. The shambles. Not a place for a casual stroll. Let's go check out the old bathhouse. Hello there. Yeah. 
Give me your Daedric heart. I might as well just harvesting a heart. Yes. A little bit savage. Get right, son. Where are we actually going? We gotta go. Oh, all the way to the north. We'll come to the left. Choose a direction. East through Skane Row, through the Western Warrens, or directly north through the central plazas. I mean, either of them sounds fun. I really need to fix my weapon. It looks like I'm just punching people with my fists right now. Right, I'm equipping it again. Yeah, now it's good. Oh, that dog's on fire. Let's kill it. Yes! Oh man, that was some petrified yelping there from the doggo. Akavi ha Akavari has a monkey race. That is pretty awesome. Oh, what's that? I'm not even going the right way. Help out this poor traveler here. He lost. Hey, why would mortals hang out here? It just seems like a cold place. Alright, we gotta go north. The vanquished here. consider the central plazas to be their territory. We need to be careful here. I'm being very careful. Thank you very much. I think there's a sky shot around here somewhere. I can kill this scamp without it being against the law. Bless it. Through you specifically. Sky Shard is up there. How do I get up there, though? What is this? It looks like a massive dinosaur. Must be a danger. Oh, look, you can see its skull. That's the eye. That's the jawbone. Cool. This place is designed so well. Oh, a simple chest. For a simple man. Oh yes. Beautiful. What's inside that? The ruby ash lightning star. Regrettable. I bet you have to go up the bridge here and walk all the way over to this guy shard. You want to place outside Tamriel. That's what the new DLC is that we um, watched the reveal trailer of yesterday. It's linked below if you want to check it out. It's actually a place that we've never been to in any Elder Scrolls game in history. In fact, there's pretty much no lore about it. What makes it very interesting? The High Isles. It's in the Abyssinian Sea to the west of Tamriel. Pretty much as far away from Tamriel as we've ever been, I think. Excluding Oblivion, obviously. Aha! We got to the Sky Shard. Come and relish its beautiful glow. Okay, I will show you the way. Let's go back. Oh, hello. This is the shambles. I know. I like all the plants in here. Very cool. So many bottles and bits and bobs around. How does one get into this DLC? Uh, it's, this is the Gates of Oblivion DLC. And it's the second part of the Blackwood chapter. Called the Deadlands. You can start it in your quest journal, actually, if you have a look. I'll hop down here. Oi. We'll go left here. Drop down. Almost there. I'm a PC player. 100%. I'd never play an MMO on console because, like, the consoles get outdated. Apparently, the the old consoles are holding this game back. It's why um, Bethesda couldn't add a new class or new storylines and stuff, apparently, because something to do with the servers um, and the sort of capacity that the game... That door should take us into the bathhouse. If we can open it. 
and take on in terms of performance when you're adding like a new class you've got like loads of new variables to add in there decreases performance Locked. and with magic damn if the main door is sealed let's see if we can get in through the courtyard okay came all the way here for you to tell me it was sealed it aren't we in the courtyard is there a way up here or something maybe maybe Hello there. Surprise! What's this? Would have thought there'd be a chest there, but apparently not. There's a law book there. A law book on the bar. to the roof. Might be a way in over there. That's why I was hoping when I came up here. I could sneak through the windows and see Jabba the Hutt naked. This bathing. is the bathhouse courtyard. See those depressions? Used to be outdoor pools. Let's see if we can find a way inside from here. Oh yeah. Now it's just a sand pit. I never met a building with only a single entrance and exit. Let's look around the courtyard. There's got to be another way to get into the bathhouse. I've never met a building before either. Why do you think there's another way to get in? Because it's a big building, and big buildings always have multiple exits and entrances. Besides, we didn't come all this way architect. to be defeated by a magical seal on a bathhouse door. You know, I, I studied architecture for three years, and even I didn't know that, so thank you. Wait, now you're telling me to go... Oh, so I needed to talk to you? Now you want me to go over there? Okay. Fine. Watch out! He's dead. We've slaughtered her. <coughs> Apparently. I can speak. That opening in the rock. Maybe we can reach the cave below and get into the bathhouse from there. Maybe. Just here. There's the bathhouse undercrop, so I guess it leads to the bathhouse? What does DLC stand for? Downloadable content, Doug. It's one of those I things that just makes no sense. should be able to find a way inside through the undercroft. It runs beneath the bathhouse. Until someone tells you. It obviously does make sense once you know. It just sounds like a random amalgamation of letters. <sighs> Another ward. I think we can get past this one, though. I right. have an idea. Okay. Are you going to do something useful for once? Unlike the door outside. This area contains everything we need to disrupt the magic sustaining the ward and dispel it. Convenient. I've seen the Daedra use these crystals to do all sorts of things. Crystals? What are you talking about? I mean, there's one right there behind my head. I spotted a lucent among the debris in this hall. Mm. It's a Daedric crystal that can absorb and store the background energy that pulses through all the realms of oblivion. We'll need that to get started. I guess I'll go and get it. Then take the lucent to the Dynamis font over there. That background energy I mentioned, the font absorbs it. Place the lucent on the font, and it will fill it with the charged energy. Then what? Finally, insert the charged lucent into the discharge labyrinth beside the door. That will release the energy from the crystal and disrupt the ward. That's the idea, anyway. I've seen the Daedra do all sorts. All right, I got Remember, it, I got it. Find the lucent, charge it in the dynamis font, then place the charged crystal in the labyrinth beside the door. I know you just told I'm not stupid. You just told me that. My god, look. That's definitely Get this crystal. There is cop. Now take Pick the it up. I know you just told me I, I know what to do now. It it's energy. okay. Stick that it in it. here. Look how the crystal And then crackles. put it by the door. You, the you've told me four times now. Come on. It worked. And now you know how to use a charged lucent. Let's see what's behind I, that. I'll remember door. it for the rest of my life with that description. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. That with the slot. <laughs> that actually tickled me. That was a good one. The more you know. Bethesda Game Studios makes The Elder Scrolls Fallout 4, not 76, and of course Starfield will be a blast. But after Fallout 76, Bethesda said, or uh, well, Todd Howard said in an interview, that they, they are not going to focus on multiplayer games anymore. Obviously, Elder Scrolls Online is made by Zenimax. Um, but they want to stick to what they know with... Um, the single player games and i was happy to hear that you know? and i'm glad that they're going to continue to do what they love and enjoy 
I wish Fallout 76 was more of a success, but it just wasn't as good as the single player game. Not because it had multiplayer aspects at all, but um, more because the world just wasn't as full um, as the other Fallout games. It didn't seem to be made with as much passion. But hey, I'm still very excited for Starfield future games. And I still love the previous games in the studio. Ah! I'm liking this dungeon though. It's like pretty this DLC is pretty unique so far. It's very different to some of the other ones I've played. Like just the areas we're exploring, they seem to have like lots of new assets made for the Deadlands DLC. And it's really pretty to walk through. Get wrecked. She got surprised. Send in the Shadow Knights. Oh, a platinum ring. I am rich. My favorite Bethesda game? Oh, it's Lyra. They're glowing again. I see my spell brought the help I requested, but I didn't expect there to be more than one of you. I like a lot of Bethesda games for different reasons. I think Skyrim's probably like really changed my life. Thanks to you guys and Skyrim. Um, Oblivion though, is that's my childhood favorite, you know. There's something magical when you're a kid like playing a game like this uh, and you get to experience it in a different way. When you become an adult, things get a bit different in how you play a game. But that imagination of being a kid and playing Oblivion was just magical. Ah, oh, my simple spell finally yields results. I was hoping it would bring you to me again, little mortal. I do so appreciate working with known quantities. But who is this other immortal who also carries my glowing brand upon their flesh? This is Anchorite Antrolite. Meet Lyrith the Demora. The Anchorite? An unusual appellation even for a mortal. You must be wondering why I summoned you and then failed to be on hand to greet you. When I heard that Sister Seldina had arrived at their headquarters in the shambles, I had to act quickly. Did you find her? You can plainly see that I did not. <laughs> Finding this location took more time than I expected. And even then, getting inside has proven difficult. But now that we're together, I suspect we can make short work of any obstacles and locate Sister Seldina. Why are you so intent on finding her? My reasons are my own, little mortal. Suffice it to say, I want to determine how Sister Seldina plans to utilize the votive runes to seize control of Fargrave. She wants to use its many portals as a gateway between the Deadlands and Nern. What do you need me for? Even a Dromor of my talents cannot hope to stand alone against the Dagonists and an army of living disasters. I seek to learn Sister Seldina's secrets. You want to protect the mortal realm from total destruction. Together, we can accomplish both. Together! She's smart and ruthless. A powerful combination in Immortal. She commands the Dagonists here in Fargrave and oversaw the creation of the Cataclyst. With that device, she plans to create an army of living disasters to unleash upon Nern. Living disasters? Daedra empowered to unleash destruction upon the mortal realm and make it easier for Mehrun's Dagon to conquer Nern. Did you know he's tried before? Dagon broke an agreement, and the doors between the Deadlands and Nern were sealed. He can't use them. Uh, well, we'll see about that, because Oblivion's based after these events. <laughs> what agreement did Dagon break? Sotha Seal, one of the so-called living gods of the Dark Elves, supposedly made a pact with various Daedric princes to protect Nern. I don't know the details, but Dagon broke the pact. Sotha Seal slammed the doors and closed off Dagon's connections. It's quite interesting because she is like uh, Sotha Seal claims to be a god, uh, and there's some, um, you know, he he has become a god in Morrowind uh, in the Tribunal, um, but there's there's a lot of conflict there as to actually if he is a god or not, and I like how she has another verdict on that. So that's a cool little detail there. The sister Saldina wants to conquer Fargrave so Dacon can use its portals. Everything about Sotha Seal's pact is rumor and speculation, so that is what I hope to determine, and I want to examine the Cataclyst. The attack on Fargrave could begin at any moment. Shall we enter the next area and see what Saldina is up to? It might be funny if you could say no. 
The glow. It vanished again. The spell oh, has run its course. The glow will not return. Now, what is that armor? to deal with this ward. Dude, that looks sick. Come, I sense activity in the chamber beyond. He's like budget medieval Batman. Hey, Batman, what armor is that? Push him up. He has a lot of champion. Inquisitor the Incredible. He's not answering. He's in dialogue. He's deep in thoughts. To the Batcave, Batman! Oh, what's going on? Bajik. Ah, oh, he's cheating. Teleporting away. The Dramora again. Well, you're too late. The ritual is almost complete. Dagon's blessing reverberates among the votive runes. Soon a wave of destruction. The spell. Stop! The What's ritual must to destroy us? the Daedra! Mortal. My the plan destroy the votive upon runes. it! Stop! You are destroying my extremely obvious plan! Please! Stop at once! Waking flame! Protect the votive runes! Who's this guy? Look at this guy, he looks awesome! Waking flame ironclad, blah. This guy. I go behind him. Assassino! Oh wait. He seems to have won. He has a staff. Okay, let's destroy the other portal. Then she'll be very annoyed. Shoot! All like I brought my hammer. Ruined! You will pay for that, Dramora. You and your companions both. Sister Seldina got away, and we're right back where we started. Nowhere. Nowhere? How quickly mortals succumb to despair. Let's talk in the next room. Damn, that might to me, guys. Sorry. The Ebonheart armor. Is it? With a Batman helmet. It looks awesome, doesn't Take it? Take a moment to look around. Sister Seldina departed in haste. Certainly she left something behind. He left this small centipede. This will be her undoing. I did not think Sister Seldina capable of performing such a powerful ritual. You did well, mortal. A few more moments and the magic would have exploded across Fargrave, leaving the city defenseless and destroying all of the Daedra, including me. There's nothing my wooden mallet cannot solve. I stopped the ritual, but Sister Keldina, Seldina escaped. Yes, but she fled in haste. That means she probably left something behind. Let's search this bathhouse. Bring me whatever you find. Sister Saldina's abandoned paraphernalia may be of use to me, and it may tell you more about the threat to Nern. You know what the ritual's about? From what I could devise, the votives elevated the emotions of mortals in the city, siphoning the energy generated into Sister Seldina's ritual. She planned to use that energy to destroy the Daedra, including the Grasp, leaving the city defenseless. Shouldn't we go after her? That would accomplish nothing. The Dagonists are experts when it comes to disappearing into the shadows. Sister Seldina will pay for her various insults soon enough. For now, see what she left behind when she fled. Okay, I will lo I'll look for you in the bar now. What are you going to do? Just pretend to look. Oh, okay, yep, yep, very good. Very good mining there. Interesting. I think... Something. Maybe in the carrot case. Perhaps in the sultry sack or the cabbage crate. Seem to be anything. Maybe the melon basket? Nope, there are only melons here. I think she's outsmarted us. Go upstairs. Oh! There is an encoded note. Let's take it. What did you find, little mortal? Jesus, can't you just take the stairs, woman? Tell me what you found, and I shall determine if it has any significance to my quest, or to I, yours. I found note. Cannot read. Hmm. Nor can I. And while Oof. your literacy may be in question, mine certainly is not. 
This is no language, mortal or Daedric. It is written in code, one used by the Dagonists for their more guarded correspondence. Can you decipher it? No, and neither could any lowly recruit we captured off the streets and tortured for information. This fun, code though. is reserved for the Order's elite. We'll need to find someone who can decipher it. I'm sure Fargrave must have someone with those skills. What should we do now? We should leave. The cult's forces may have scattered, but no doubt Sister Seldina will send a force to try to deal with us. We should not be here when they arrive. Perhaps the Anchorite can suggest a place for us to meet up, safe from prying eyes. Are you coming with us? What I seek still eludes my grasp, so our business is not yet concluded. You ought to be grateful. I can be a powerful ally when the mood strikes me. I will meet <laughs> you back in Fargrave. I'm sure the Anchorite knows someone who can decipher them. Okay, Let's great. meet we'll at go. the inn in Fargrave. Let's there go is to the rest. Inn. We can talk privately there. There is rest. Hey. The bears on Bitcoin, though. I don't know if I should main this or Guild Wars 2. Uh, I've not played Guild Wars 2 yet. Maybe we'll go and test it out as well. I like the Elder Scrolls Online has tons of content, though, and things to unlock. Like, if you like the Elder Scrolls game, you want to chill MMO, I think this is... This definitely ticks the box. Can't speak much for Guild Wars 2 yet, because I've not played it. So, we can go back to the... Um... Can I get a horse? Get a horse here. Nice. Yay! Does it work in the tunnels? Yes. Like a tube station for that. Beautiful. Whee! Zoom, zoom. Did you guys uh, watch my live stream yesterday for the Elder Scrolls Online announcement? What did you guys think of the new stuff coming to the game? Is that a merchant? Let's see. This bear is trying to eat the skooma. Alright, let's go back to Fargrave. I need to go just here. To the end. Double. I haven't played in a minute. A lot has changed. Yeah, yeah. So I come back to it once a year, and it feels like I'm entering like like a, a new world each time. Like where where was I? You know, it's like loading up an old Skyrim save, in an RPG. Like he's half naked. The Jester Crown. An interesting get-up, I must say. Must have stayed at the brothel here. So you really came all this way to stop the Waking Flame from destroying Fargrave? Something like that. I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't that. Finding the leader of the cult, watching as she almost completed a deadly ritual, and then allowing her to escape. I never fail like that. And all we have for our trouble is a coded message. You seem pretty useless so far, to be honest. But I wouldn't be surprised if you felt like that before. Is Elder Scrolls Online good? I mean, I come back to it at least twice a year usually just to play it. I uh, really enjoy the story. Like, dungeons are cool. Um, I think it's it's a very rewarding game and enjoyable in that sense. So I think it's pretty good. Um, compared to a single-player Elder Scrolls game, though, it's a different experience. It's more MMO-like. But... You can still sort of go out and explore and just enjoy the lore in many ways, so that's really good. But I think it's good just to, I mean, the base game, you can grab from the link below for like, I think like $10, $20. Um, I recommend just grabbing the base game and giving it a go. That's what I usually recommend to new players, and then you can see if you like it. And based on that, subscribe, and there's just so much content in it. Do you know anyone who could decipher the code? Maybe. This is Fargrave, after all. The city connects to everywhere. Madam Wim must know someone here who can help us with that. In the meantime, we made a deal, and I always honor my commitments. Give me that skill here. point. You earned this, my friend. Oh, we're friends now. Okay. Little mortal, attend me. Attend me. We have unfinished business, mortal. The encoded message you recovered from the bathhouse. That may be the key to determining the waking flame's next move and revealing the secrets I'm searching for. We must find someone who can decipher it. The Anchorite suggests asking Madame Wim for recommendations. The masked mortal has the right idea. Fargrave sits on the threshold to everywhere. If there exists a being who can decipher this code, we will find them here. I'd prefer it if we could find someone other than Madame Wim to deal with, however. I can ask around, but Anchorite seems to have a history with Wim. Do you know her? 
I have heard of the infamous Mazkin who calls herself Madam Wim. I find her practice of turning gossip into profit to be loathsome. But even a filthy daydread has its uses, I suppose. Take the note to her and pay whatever yeah. it costs for a translation. Wow. Catfight. I'll take the encoded note to her. Go to Madam Wim's establishment, the House of Wims. Show her the encoded note and tell her we need it deciphered. I will meet you there. To make sure we have her undivided attention and that she understands this is more than a mortal's request. A new high aisle DLC is going to be awesome. I definitely agree, dude. It's going to be really interesting to go to a new island we've never explored off the coast of Tamriel and just see see what the lore is like there. You seem reluctant to deal with Madame Wynne. Why is that? We know of each other. Perhaps our paths have crossed over the millennia. Perhaps not. Dated. Wim has changed her name and appearance multiple times. Or so I've heard. I have no doubt she will do so again when Fargrave no longer amuses her. Mentioned an army of living disasters. We were at the bathhouse. What do you mean? Sister Seldina possesses the knowledge to create a device called a cataclyst. With it, she can transform any Daedra into a powerful incarnate, a living disaster. She even tried to use the machine on me. These incarnates must be part of her plan. What? We learned that Sister Seldina tried to use the votive runes to steal power from the mortals. Power she hoped would destroy the Daedra and allow her to conquer Fargrave. We stopped that plot, but this realm's many portals are too enticing to ignore. So you think they'll try again? They are persistent, if nothing else, these Daganists. If they truly want to unleash their incarnates on Nurn, using Fargrave's portals makes the most sense. The hope, slender though it may be, is that the encoded note will tell us more. Hey Chris, is I'll this game worth trying? The House of Whims. I can help with the negotiations. No, you are sitting there drinking, mate. You're not going to help with negotiations at all. You're useless. Mate. Not done anything useful so far. Chris, is the game worth playing? Uh, definitely, yeah. I mean, you can literally buy the base game for like $10, no subscription now, and just give it a go. Like, even the base game content was decent. The DLC and new chapters, um, many of them even better. So, I definitely recommend having a go because it's not that much to lose in that sense like ten dollars and this game has so much content in just the base game like you don't even need to buy the new dlc or chapter look at this guy look at that majestic et um i think the entrance is down here i'm not an architect but um apparently there's multiple entrances to big buildings there only seems to be one entrance to this one Oh, there's a weird picture of a, a hut. Looks like the one from The Witcher. Hmm, suspicious. Why, Lyrinth, my dear, it would be an honor to assist you in any way I can. An honor, yes. Mortal, show Wim the note. Oh, darling, how good <laughs> of you to once again grace my fine establishment. And I see that my information proved useful. You found Lyrinth. Another customer, satisfied and content. Now, what can Madame Wim do for you this time? We think this note is written in code. It belonged to Sister Seldina. While I have many, many talents, deciphering written codes concocted by fanatical mortals is not among them. Are you sure I can't interest you in something a little more luscious? No? Pity. Very well. I may know someone who can help you. Who are they? Where can I find them and how much will it cost me? You wound me. I thought we were becoming friends. Talk to Gazmod the Collector. His villa on the west side of town contains quite the accumulation of Dagonic paraphernalia. Something in his collection should help, provided you can catch his eye. Gazmod the Collector. Villa on the west side of town, got it. And how much is this information going to cost me? You owe absolutely nothing, my darling. Lyrant agreed to cover your cost for this bit of inside information. Isn't she a dear? Now, do tell Gazmod that we miss them here at the House of Whims. The place hasn't been the same without them. I'm still not sure what currency you deal in, Madam Wim. Oh, don't concern yourself with that, dearest one. I never ask for more than a client can afford. There's no profit in that. 
When you have time, come back and let Madam Wim show you some of the wares that have made her the talk of oblivion. Go downstairs and rouse the anchorite. We'll want her with us when we talk to this collector. Meanwhile, I need to conclude our business here. Conclude our idea. business? How I love the sound of that. It makes me all a twitter. I'm not here to Was play Madam games, Wim, help Wim. Grab a drink and but tell me all about it. games are some of my favorite activities, dear Laren. Come, let me show you what the House of Whims has to offer. I know I said I was going to help with the negotiations, but look, I don't want to talk about it. All right, bye. Uh, I have to talk to her to proceed the quest. I know I said I was going Some things are private, personal. But you can't said just you... walk up and demand I tell you my deepest, darkest secrets. I didn't want you to. Uh, sorry. I agreed to talk about my name, my mask, everything. After you proved yourself, and you've certainly done that. You made the mistake thinking I would care about your mask. I mean, I can see who you are, so it's kind of pointless. About your mask. When we first met, you asked about my name. Madam Wim gave it to me. I just arrived in Fargrave and everything before that exact moment was gone. All I had was this mask. I didn't know who I was or where I came from. Still don't. Come on, man. This is like the worst superhero origin story ever. What does it mean? Just one of Madam Wim's little jokes. Means I'm a recluse, Pants. a hermit. Living a life of seclusion behind a mask I can't remove. Oh, she can't remove it? Sometimes. Sometimes it feels like memories are stirring deep inside my mind. When that happens, I need a distraction. Why? Because it feels like there's a war raging inside drunk, my skull. Yeah. A war I can't win. Better to drink or... Or whatever. Push them back down to stop the pain behind my eyes. That's my story. At least as much as I know. Now, tell me what Madam Wim said. Just follow me. I've heard of the Collector. As a villa on the west side of the city. I know. Never met them personally. But I assume they're some sort of Daedra. Makes sense, considering their influence and where they live. I'm I'll finish that. this and meet you at the Collector's Villa. I know it's you on the are. west side, in a neighborhood that's You just told me Daedric. it's on the west. So be careful, and watch your step until I get there. You arrived in Fargrave without knowing who you are or where you came from. Why did you stay? Where else was I to go? I assumed I awoke in Fargrave for a reason. I stayed to find that reason. And to see if whoever left me here would one day return. Regardless, the city and its people quickly Mysterious captured my backstory. heart, especially that, the mortals. That way you became the darling of the alleys. Another label assigned by Madame Wim. Stay in her orbit long enough and you'll collect a dozen appellations. East. I can't stand to see anyone go hungry or be taken advantage of. I try to help and don't ask anything in return. Wim sees that as a weakness. What do you mean? Her disguise is perfect. Like, you'll never recognize her. Had to dip. Good hanging out with you though, buddy. Thanks, Taser. 31 months of being a member and a moderator. Thanks for being awesome, bro. And you really can't remember anything. Bits and pieces, but when the memories stir, the pain kicks in. If I try to focus on them, actually make sense of them, the mask burns? It hurts me. Like it doesn't want me to remember. Worst superhero Time to power go ever. The Let's go to the west of the city, like three people have told me to do now. Okay, um, east, south, west. West. I mean, there's a quest marker anyway, but I, I know it's there, for sure. I get the feeling it's just a reused face. I mean, I'm sure a lot of faces are reused, right? But it doesn't really matter. If only if she takes the mask off and she actually has, like, you know, like, um, you know, like when you have a watch and you have like a tan in the sun. Like a watch tan. There's a mask tan. How the hell do I get up there? Oh, this is a maze. Gambling. Look at this guy. Damn, you ugly. Yep, you lose. You lose everything. Um, right. I'll go down here. 
Wasn't exactly the west, but hey. Oh, the ones that these are side quests. Oh, it's this door over here. Okay, great. I'm winning. Faster than you, my friend. Ha! Ah! A collector's villa. Walk to Gasmund the Collector. This mask, it intrigues. It must become a part of Gasmond's collection. Budget Hemeris Mora. Um, friend, why don't you talk to the Collector? I'll speak to Hemeris Mora from Wish. The Wish, when you order Hemeris Mora from Wish. It approaches, it dares speak. Will it offer the mask to compensate for such insults? Madam Wimpsen does. She said your collection might contain something to decipher a Dagonic code. It invokes Madam Wim. Wants what belongs to Gazmod and Gazmod alone. It is presumptuous. Leave our gaze. Gazmod no longer wants to look upon it. A powerful statement to leave our gaze when he has 70 eyes on him. Lyrith may... Maybe you can convince them. It. Them. Uh, it. Him. I meant no insult by having my mortal speak to you, Collector. We merely seek to borrow a Dagonic Codebreaker. Since you're clearly interested, I'll allow you to examine my mask. No. The Aerox must not leave the gallery. But Gazmod will peer at its mask. This way, mask wearer. Come, little mortal. We must find the Aerox. Perhaps the gallery is beyond that door. So what's he going to do? Like, do some weird hentai thing over there to her? I really know. A bit concerning. I'm going to go into the gallery and just steal some stuff, though. The Collector let slip that they have a codebreaker called the Aerox. We must find it. Wait! I'll find it, don't worry. Nothing can get past me. I am the finder of all things. What is an Aerox? It appears not all of Gazmod's collection consists of relics. Oh, oh, ow, that was very nice. There's a lot of plants that can kill me in here. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god, I think I've killed half of his plants. It is enter our collection. Run away. Does it not know we see through many eyes? Stop watching me, watcher. Oh, Jesus. Gave me a big yeet there, didn't it? Oh. Alright, let's carry on. It is a good MMO for sure, man. Hello there, battle boys. Here's quite the collection of creatures. Pity I have to kill them. Weird cave. Our collection is as dangerous as it is beautiful. What collection? I'm killing everything. I want that. This is like one of the mounts you can buy in the crown store. Is it in here? This one. Same energy. In fact, currently they have. Um, where is it? Crown crates. Celestial crown crates. Look at these law friendly mounts, guys. Look at that. It looks insane. That looks so cool. Damn. So these are the Radiant Apex mounts. That looks sick. Astral skin. I wish your skin was like, you know, the horse. Like you can see in the galaxy. That looks nice. As you can see, I have 35,000 crowns. That's basically all membership money because you get crowns when you uh, 
have ESO Plus. But I just never buy anything in the crown store. So maybe um, at the end of the stream we'll unlock all those crown, we'll buy some celestial crown crates. And we'll see if we can get one of the best things inside it. What do you guys think? Should we do that? Type in gambling for the win in the chat if you would like to do that. Perhaps the Dagonic relics lie beyond that door. Perhaps not. This gallery contains but a single display. See what it is, mortal. I think I you're am right. Aerox, the mutilator, terror of the Deadlands. Release me from this cage and I will grant you a boon, mortal. The relic it. is a talking Daedrat? Mortal, release the vermin. What? A rat? A rat? What do you think of this, sir? Aerox, the mutilator, is a daydrat of his word. At least currently. Release me and I will do anything in my power to aid your cause. You do have a cause that needs aiding, don't you? I would like you as a pet. I want him to, like, just continuously rant behind me. How do I release... Aerox, the mutilator. Aerox, the mutilator. <laughs> Sweet freedom at long last! <laughs> Aerox owes you for this kind indulgence. <laughs> he's like, ha 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 I'm free! You have set Aerox free. Free! <laughs> Aerox owes you a debt of honor. And Aerox will pay it, no matter how long it takes. You have my word. But pray tell, who do I owe this enormous debt of gratitude to? <laughs> I love this character. I'm a car the sleek, and this is Lyra. But you're a Daedrat. We thought you were some sort of Daedric relic. Question not this pitiable form, mortal. For within it beats the heart of the terror of the Deadlands, the Sunderer of the Seven Skies, and the Warrior of the Floating Wastes. I am Aerox the Mutilator! And yes, I currently occupy this Daedrat body. <laughs> this is fantastic. We thought you could decipher any Daedric code. Take any codes? Easy as ripping the ears off a bane king. Aerox is fluent in the many tongues of the Deadlands. No code can hide its meaning from the mutilator's eyes. Speaking of eyes, we should leave this place before the Collector looks this way. If I take you with us, will you promise to decipher this code? I have already pledged to honor my debt to you. I will decipher every scroll in the Tower of Lord Dagon's Viscount Scrivener, if that is what you desire. Oh my god, please be my I pet. I swear my fealty to you, mortal master. My life and my skills are yours to command. <laughs> Very well, hop in my pack, Aedrox. With pleasure, mortal master. No, <laughs> he jumps over one set. Can I take him out? Is he like a pet now? That would be so cool if he becomes a pet. On combat pets. I don't know, is he a collectible one? No, oh, it would be in Daedric, right? In special? Oh, he needs to be a pet. Oh, he, can, he can just like, like just laugh when we're running around together. So far, coolest Your character of the DLC. He's perfect, Master. And I found the encoded note. I will work on translating it forthwith. <laughs> oh we my have God. a Daedrat. Wonderful. Now let's find the anchorite and depart this place. An Indric. A beautiful creature. You must die! Oh! Perhaps they will amuse us as our collection destroys them. Ooh, a blood knife, eh? Quite a cool idea to have all of the other enemies from the other DLCs in there. It tries our patience. This monstrosity will destroy it. 
big fan. This is a cool, like, sort of quest so far. I'm really enjoying this one. The, the start of this DLC was super slow, but now it's, it's picking up. It's getting exciting. I'm liking it. Anchor, through the door and find the anchorite before the collector returns. Right, we're going, we're going. Hey, a little help here. Very kinky. That floating sack of eyes wants to make me a permanent part of their collection. A floating sack of eyes? Why are there bananas in the bookshelf? That's the real mystery here. I think we'll leave her there. She wasn't very useful. Ooh, lots of books. More law books. Fantastic. What information am I here? Ooh, a lockpick. Oh, one sec. We actually have to go and release really up the quest. That's annoying. As glad as I am to see you, can we do more rescuing and less talking right now? I think if you shatter that glowing crystal behind me, that will do the trick. Oh, don't worry. I'm the only one who brings a hammer around with me, eh? Thanks. Let's get out of here and return to Madam Wims. Let's go. Follow me. I know the way. You get him in the crown store, but sorry you're too late for that because he's gone from the crown store now. Wait. So, uh, Scorpio, Scorpio 69 poison. Are you saying that, like, he's actually fully voiced? Does he, like, does he laugh and talk to you as you're adventuring around with him as a pet? And how, how many crowns was he? So I know what I missed out on and can, like, and cry a little bit. As I, I've, I literally have, right? I literally have 35,000 crowns and I never buy anything. I might get some celestial crates later in the stream just for fun. We'll open them. Maybe we'll get that celestial ram now. But I, I would have actually brought that. I'm genuinely, that, I, that would have been something I brought. Why do they have to make me pay for it? I already paid for the DLC. Damn it. That's actually something I would have brought. Having a crazy <laughs> rat following me who can talk. That would have been awesome. I'm so disappointed that I've missed that. Wait, what's this? Oh, you can break into his house. I thought I could unlock the candle. Dude, this looks beautiful now. It reminds me a little bit of Dune, but in space. Wait, Dune is in, is in space. It looks incredible. Makes me excited for Starfield. Bird in space. Space bird. All right, where do we need to go? We need to go back to the House of Wind so we can get robbed of more money. Wee! Super speed. This is my okay. Wee! Oh, the rope stops my epicness. Go down here. Down here. It's down here. Bethesda would make you pay to breathe if they could. Well, I mean, the get there has a lot of content here for free if you don't subscribe. But to be honest, the game is so much more playable if you do subscribe with like the ESO uh, plus crafting bag. But to be honest, I think there's a lot of content here that's worth it. Did you who there are zombie bibs? Did you know there are zombie bibs? Maybe there are. I wouldn't know. I would have died for the Shergoreth Turban Cat. Wait, what? What was that? Back again? Why is it that mortals can't seem to get enough of what Madam Whim has to offer? My establishment and its many wonders are always available for the right price. So it was the rat was between 1,000 and 1,500 crowns. Okay. That's not that's not too bad. I mean, Master, if it talked. Aerox has deciphered the note. Daedric troops from Burning Gyre Keep in the Deadlands are preparing to invade Fargrave. Well done, Rat. Mortal, find out what else the note contains. That Daedrat talks. Isn't it amazing? Look at this. Oh. Did you hear what I said, Mortal Master? 
Vulcanos Nokvraz prepares to send the most fearsome Daedric troops in all the Deadlands to this Nexus city. The destruction will be glorious. Glorious. Does the encoder note say anything else? <sighs> It is addressed to some despicable cur named Sister Seldina. A weak-sounding mortal name if ever I heard one. Why hey. one of Merun's Dagon's most powerful warlords, not as powerful as Aerox, mind you, would deign to aid a weak-named mortal baffles me. Aerox, the rest of the encoded note, please. Yes, right. <clears throat> Troops stand ready at Burning Gyre Keep. Send word when Fargrave's defenses fall, and the invasion will begin. Dremora Blades will take the city, not your incarnates. That is every word, mortal master, whose name is in no way weak. <laughs> and we should head for the Burning Guy Keep. Let us make haste, master. I believe it's in the Deadlands. An excellent idea, mortal. Use the Plaza of Portals to reach the Deadlands. We'll rendezvous at Burning Gyre Keep. There's a talking cat as well. A Smeagol. Eagle. Big cheese bill. All right, let's go. Jeez. Don't need crowns. I could use the race changer, brother. What race are you currently? What are you changing to? Convince me. Um, so now, I need to go to the Deadland, I believe. Go to the Burning Guy Keep. Yeah, it's in the Deadlands. Just as I... Right, where's the... The Way Shrine in? Go, bro. To the Deadlands. The land of the dead. Thank you, Dan G. Muller, for being a member for five months. Thanks for the support, my dude. Every time we come to the Deadlands, there's like crazy music. I feel like Volchi. Dead as dead air. We. Don't worry, brother. I will set. Oh, it's really killed. Didn't need my help. Let's go. Looks beautiful, this place, man. Really cool environment. Look at this guy. Massive fire astronaut. Truly a marvel. This place smells wonderful, Master. Like weapons after a battle. I wonder if we kill these rats if he gets angry at us. Oh, what's that? Oh my god, we just got a golden lead. Where is it? I can't remember how the game works. Where are the leads? Uh, journals? Leads? Antiquities? Oh, it's an antiquity. Searing gem. Master difficulty. So this is one of the leads for the Marklin Ring of Majesty. Adds 170 stamina. Bloodthirsty. Um, increase your weapon and smell damage against enemies under 90% health. Out to 350. Very nice. Part of the marking ring and majesty set. A one ring item. Because it's a mythic item. Gain 100 weapon and spell damage. And 1100 armor for every single set you're wearing. At least three or more pieces of Current bonus, 200 weapon and spell that. It's pretty decent. You'd have to build something around that. What an oblivion but... was that? Great power was just unleashed inside the keep. Hurry, mortals. We must see what's going on inside. All right, go on then. Go inside. Yeah, I do have an Argonian tank build. Look at this, man. Yeah. Very cool. Love from India. Thank you so much. Glad you're here for the stream, man. 
I have one scaly boy. If I got the base game, would I be able to see you running around the base world still? Like, could we still play together? I'm on the EU server. So the base game, Camriel, includes, like, a lot. <coughs> Depending on what faction you're in, you can still go anywhere. Like the Alkir Desert, um, Bankerai, Stormhaven, Rivenspire, Glenumbra. That's just one faction area. You can go anywhere no matter which faction you join. I'm in the Daggerfall Covenant. Bratwood, Greenshade, uh, Reaper's Marsh. Um, so it, it like has so much, like there's so much content in the base game. But yeah, I'd still be in some areas, but there's other areas that you wouldn't be able to go unless you subscribed. Ah, Celinda. Celina is here. You put too much faith in these abominations, Celina. With the Riven Cataclysm, Fargrave will fall. And then, Nerf. Yeah. This looks awesome, man. Look at this arena. Sick. Let me jump down here. Oh, I can talk. You guys all right? Babinston, thanks for the donation. Great playthrough. Have fun. Thanks for the support, man. They chased you out of Fargrave once. How many more failures must you endure, Saldina? Careful, Nokraz. Or perhaps I'll point my incarnate in your direction. Easy. Get Rex up. A blade bearer weapon. Here, examine it, mortal. Why do I have to do it? I don't know what that is. Broken blade bearer sword. Embla emblazoned on the hilt of this cracked Daedric sword is the crest of a blade bearer clan. It is the blade bearer's crest. This is not their fortress. Why would that broken sword be here? The soundtrack's very, very lyrical. Very creepy, not gonna lie. Oh, my sword disappeared again. Look at this. Dramora Cundras are empowering the beast. Oh, oh my god, beautiful. 1.8 million health. That is no match for me, brother. Ow. You may have hit me with your whirlwind ability. That is the only move you shall land. Oh, this is a boss fight. Look at this. Beautiful. I like how I just blocked his massive attack on me. Get out of here, mate. Where's he going? Pool of energy. Go into it. Which pool of energy? Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. I'm in it. Is this the pool of energy you spoke of? I summoned a pool of energy. Go into it. I'm in it. I'm in it. Doesn't seem like that looks like it's gonna hit me. But okay. Oh, okay. We have plans. I like it. I like it. Very nice. This is for boss fight. Proper good storyline boss fight. Boss looks awesome as well. I like how he just now, melts. Go to one of my energy pools. Where's the other one? There it is. He's gonna charge me. Come at me, bro. Oh! Plain to go. He was a rich guy, wasn't he? The incarnate failed, Seltina. You failed. Again! You see failure, 
I see opportunity. Let's head to the Riven Cataclyst. I have a legion of incarnates to create. You failed again, though. We should I will make more failures. Quickly, mortals, into the portal. Quickly, let's follow them. Even though we said that never usually works. Enter. Back into Fargrave. I have 35,000 crowns here. I've never spent, like, money on the grounds, just for the record. I've only got it from ESO+. Plus. A glorious victory! Arox the Mutilator must scratch furiously to celebrate! <laughs> Wait, what are you doing? Why are you looking at the wall? What the hell? Such violence! <laughs> oh, master, you make me so proud! You dispatched that incarnate abomination with a ferocity worthy of Aerox the Mutilator! And did you see the look on Nakros's face? Like a lava crab crawled up his nose and died! <laughs> <laughs> this is the best character in the game. We stopped Saladina's ritual and forced her to retreat to Burning Gyre Keep. There, instead of allowing her to summon Nakros's promised army, we defeated her incarnate. Now she's on the run, back to her riven cataclyst. That device intrigues me. Intrigues you? She plans to use the device to create a legion of incarnates to invade Fargrave. Pretty dodgy. And do not forget that Nern is her ultimate target, little mortal. She plans to use Fargrave to sacrifice your realm to Dagon. But Seldina figured out a way to change the very nature of a Daedra truly change it that bears further investigation so how do we find the riven catalyst a question i must ponder there are few places i can think of to hide such a device none of them pleasant and there are the blade bearers to consider why was their sword in the keep for now take this as a reward that is the mortal custom yes are you ready to resume our hunt for the Riven Cataclysm, little mortal? I assumed you'd want time to sample Madame Wim's delights, or explore the splendors of Fargrave. No? <laughs> Very well. Let us go before more incarnates are unleashed upon the city. Rat catcher. Achievement unlocked. Ah, oh, we have no idea where Sister Caldrana went, or where the Riven Catalyst is. You are not wrong in your summation. Right. But we are not without avenues to explore. Remember the broken sword hilt you found at Burning Gyre Keep? It Indeed. carries the mark of the Blade Bearers clan. How does that help us? The Blade Bearers are a Dromora clan who forged their own path. They have no allegiance to Mehrun's Dagon, so I find it curious that their crest was found on a broken sword in the keep. I want to determine their involvement. With your aid, of course. Bless the Omissire, Mechanicus for the win. I help you investigate the Bladebearer clan and their connection. The Bladebearers are nomads, but we should find them at a settlement called Wretched Spire. That's in the Sever region of the Deadlands. We must talk to their kinreeve, Rin Caius. I will meet you there. And bring Aerox. We may have a use for him. What should I know about Rin Caius? Rin Caius is a kinreeve of the Bladebearers. A clan of nomadic Dromora who bow to no prince. Like the rest of his clan, he is fierce but values honor. He takes pride in his martial skills and the status of his kin. Mortals hold no interest for him. You and him friends? Friends? Hardly. That is a mortal concept. If I understand the idea, it implies affection, vulnerability. That you would attribute such an affiliation to Dromora is amusing. <laughs> but I have known Rinkaius for a long time. We have never been at odds. What about the Wretched Spire? What's that? The Deadlands belong to Mehrun's Dagon, but places exist where his minions rarely go. Wretched Spire stands as a refuge of sorts, a settlement where Dromora without clans and escaped mortal slaves can eke out a meager existence. Hence Dude, the I name. I literally spent a day updating ESO when I hadn't played for like a year. It's, why is she looking at the wall? Our work is only beginning, mortal. <laughs> These Damn. incarnates threaten not only Fargrave, but your world as well. 
through the threats. All right, let's take our rat with us. You never heard of him, but I do not. I missed that. You are unlikely to find. Oh Jesus! What the? Why did? Oh, I missed the dialogue. God damn it! Wait, is he still there? He literally just disappeared. Press markers there. He's downstairs now. No, he's definitely upstairs. Let me go inside and out. Hopefully that fixes it. I broke the game. When's the DLC dropping? It's going to be on the 29th of March that the first two dungeons come out. And then I suspect that uh, the first part of the story chapter will release a few months later. But there, now he's appeared again. You are unlikely to find any of Mehrun's Dagon servants in Wretched Spire, Master. Long ago, the Prince of Destruction commanded that no Daedra among his legions should look upon that place, or even speak of it. He was quite insistent. You heard? We're meeting a Dramora named Rykaius there. Never heard of him, but I do not trust him. I will watch him closely, Master. Sniff <laughs> out his intentions. I have a keen sense of smell in this otherwise pathetic form. <laughs> I'd prefer to be huge and powerful again, of course. But this form has some uses. Why does Dagon want his legions to ignore the wretched spire? I do not know. Lord Dagon wasn't in the habit of explaining his commandments. I heard the entire town was dropped into the Deadlands from someplace else. But I was never curious enough to investigate further. Sorry to have failed you, Master. Up in my pack, At I will be off. At once, Master. Let us lay waste to your foes. <laughs> He's just the most awesome character. Like, I want that dialogue on speed dial. So good. Let us lay waste to your throne. Um, where do I want to go? I'm going to go back to the Deadlands now. Seek the wretched spot. Oh, look, that's the little crab. The new crab on the stream. I don't know if I actually got the crab in the end. I watched the entire stream on Twitch, but uh, I don't know if it actually came for me. Uh, right, so. Deadlands. We gotta go over here. It's on the 6th of the 6th for PC. That's the storyline. On the high island for new chapter release. Thanks, Taylor. Apparently, there is a guy shard above me. I'm not gonna grab it right now. Shall carry on. Wandering peasants. Is what a pre order thing? Nothing I'm wearing is a pre order thing. I've not pre ordered the new thing yet. Here we are. I oh, know this is not where we need to go, but I just wanted to come to the So we can fast travel to these points later. If needed. Almost hit me. Very dangerous. My horse is too fast. Damn. Place is really cool. Nailed the vibe of oblivion. Did you guys see that? The first added to their their merchandise store, like an actual real life Daedric dagger. I think it's made out of like someone said like aluminium or. Carbon steel or something like this? I don't know. But um, it kind of looks like a ri the original. It's made out of like metal. But it costs $3,000. That's the only bad thing. I don't need to go this way. My friend is an Almiri Dominion sympathizer. My friend disgusts. Wretched spire discovered. I see the last are. of the fool killers still consorts with mortals. And I see a blade bearer who could use a new perspective. 
You travel a strange path, Lyranth. I won't ally with kin such as you. I was not offering an alliance. Mortal, speak to Rinkaius. Tell him about burning Gyre Keep. He looks awesome. I like how he's got a map of Tamriel here. Gyrodel, ah. even. And that's Tamriel. Mortals in the Deadlands exist only at Merun's Dagon's sufferance. They grovel in his cult, toil as his slaves, or skulk and hide in places such as this, in the hope he will forget about them. Which are you? And why do you seek the Bladebearers? I found a Bladebearer's sword at Burning Gaia Keep, along with Norvril's Awaking Flame Otis. No Bladebearer would willingly enter a fortress loyal to Lord Dagon. I'm in search of my clan members who disappeared, however. You say you found one of our swords at Burning Gyre Keep. Tell me, what do you know of the Order of the Waking Flame? Yeah, you have to be on the same server to gift crowns unless you buy, like, a crown code and send it to someone. They attempt to deliver my word to Dagon by merging it with the Deadlands. I stopped them. An audacious plan. Merun's Dagon has swallowed mortal realms before, or at least a portion of them. Such as this settlement you see before you. You are fortunate that their plan failed. What brings you to the Deadlands now? Vengeance. I love his armor, and his sword looks really cool. A new danger. The Dagonists built a device to create larceny. Larceny. Monsters that threaten my world. If Dagon's servants struck down my kin to protect this device, I will punish them. But first, they must be found. My scouts followed rumors to Zynoes's jail and Jin's foundry before they vanished. I will begin there. You may accompany me. Yeah, Elder Scrolls Online isn't actually paid to win. You can get, like, um... I'll show you in a second, actually. Who are Jind and... Oh, I don't even know how you pronounce that. Tell me about them. Jind is a Dramora kin marcher. She studies relics and devices. Zainawaz is Zivilai. He studies pain. <laughs> they are both nice. subordinates of Arkanaz Novkros, who you say you encountered at Burning Gyre Keep. Have the Blade Masters had trouble with Valanaz? was before. When Dagon's purposes interfere with our own, we gladly fight his minions. Prince Dagon knows this and welcomes it. We have met the Valkanaz in battle before. This I'm business of mortal secrets and missing Dremora is new, however. I mean about your missing clan members. The blade bearers come to Wretched Spire every cycle. It provides a place to plot our next campaign against rival clans. When one of our war parties never arrived, I dispatched scouts to find it. They made Where... one report. Then they too disappeared. Where can we find them? Kinmacher Jind oversees a foundry in the Sever, not far from Wretched Spire. Zainawaz is a master of a jail in the Burn, a place of suffering. My scouts reported that both seek information about mortal dealings, each in their own way. Unusual for them to be interested in mortals, then. It is unusual for two high-ranking lieutenants of Arkanaz Novkros to suddenly concern themselves with mortals, yes. Novkros has nothing but contempt for your kind. Is that all? I grow impatient. <laughs> I grow impatient. Yeah, if you guys look, uh, so when you buy... You can buy things like... All this stuff is purely cosmetic, but there's certain things. Where is it? Ah, I've been a while since I played. Like crown crates have common rewards, which include uh, potions. Uh, now these potions are nowhere near as good as anything you can craft, and it's really easy to level up your skills in this game to like the max level. So really, these potions are kind of pointless. Like if you open a crown crate and you get these potions, it just sucks. You know, like you don't want this stuff. Uh, this isn't pay to win in that sense. Um, you have crown riding speed lessons. Usually you can only 
increase your horse riding speed once per day so it takes you a while to increase the speed of your horse stamina and riding capacity doesn't really matter but the speed lessons are nice if you want them but you really don't need them um same with food it's not as good as anything you can cook so you'd never use it you can get cheaper food on the guild store for like just a few gold mounts don't give you anything apart from visual looks um same with like outfits and clothing so it's really it's not pay to win in this sense there are some some other things like you can uh you have research like your character has to research certain skills um uh, when they're like crafting things uh, for blacksmithing and clothing and whatnot and there's some things that reduce the cooldown of how long that takes um you can pay money for that but beyond that like it's it's not pay to win in the sense of like you can spend less time doing those things by doing that but you really can't get far ahead in terms of pve or combat by buying that stuff because 90 percent of the time at the end game is just not useful <coughs> But I can see people seeing the shop and seeing potions and stuff in the shop and it looks like it's pay to win because you don't understand how the game works. But it's really not. Right, so we um, need to go over here on the map now. Actually probably good to travel over here first. I will see you later, Lyris. Peter, Drozu, stay vigilant. It's possible our clanmates will return while I am gone. Indeed. Happy New Year! Thank you! Happy New Year to you too. Very late one, but Happy New Year. Still January. Still counts. What's going on here then? The mortal appears. Surprising. But acceptable. Why can't I just get in your portal? I expected you to be killed on your way here. Perhaps what? you are more capable than you appear. This is the foundry of Jind, kin marcher under Valkanaz Novkroz. Here she supervises Dremora, who study and devise things of interest to the Valkanaz. What are we looking for? Look for strange devices or documents about mortal machines in Jin's foundry. I will search for signs of my blade bearers and question any churls I find. There is a ritual site to the north. Meet me there when you finish searching the foundry. You don't want to search together? Are we not friends now? The only pay to win is if some newer sets and the DLC sets are meta, but that's really nitpicking, especially with the pay to win means in an MMO sense. Yeah, I mean, maybe in like PvP, but like in PvE, like, I don't know, does it really make that much difference? I'm not at that like end game competitive aspect, I would say, so. Me, uh, it's never really bothered me. I just noticed, by the way. Yeah. That is better. That would be an inefficient use of my time and abilities. Do not expect me to guard you, mortal, but if you die, as mortals are prone to do, I shall inform Lirinth at my convenience. I'll search the Jin fan. I've had few dealings with Kinmarcher Jind, but I have reservations about any Dremora who dabbles in mortal inventions. It is an unseemly habit. Why do you dislike mortals? Dislike? One must be familiar with something to dislike it. I am unfamiliar with your kind and not especially curious. You are simply unimportant. <laughs> I mean no insult. I'm sure you are very important to you as far as mortals are concerned. I like the concept of this. Are you uncomfortable working with me? Comfort is not a concept I give much thought to. It is something mortals seek. To protect them from fears and cares. Or so I have heard. Dremora know little of fear, so the relative merits of being comfortable or uncomfortable are meaningless. Right, I will only wait for right. a brief period at the ritual site after I complete my own investigations. Search quickly if you wish to compare notes. That ring Caius doesn't know what to make of you, Master. 
He seems like the suspicious type. I like him. I like his attitude. Elliot, thanks for becoming a member for three months. But guys, we did it. 1.98 million subs. Oh, we are so close. It's crazy that. Look at this giant gem. Kind of floating. Oh, look, there's a note here, actually. Oh, is that a chest? Ah, yes. Interesting Daedric mechanics. I wonder if this is a meant to be... strange drawing master. Does Jind intend to construct this thing? Looks like he already has constructed it. it looks like it's failed, though. Carry on and see what we find. More documents, perhaps? Oh! Oh, there's something over here. Another journal note. Balknaz Norkroz tells me that you are responsible for acquiring potential subjects. If so, you are deliquent in your, in your duties. Deli diligent? Your duties? You create in a car night suitable for Lord Dagon's purposes. I must have more Dramora. I don't care what clan. Remand, remand all your prisoners in custody, the devastator who delivers this letter, and then find more. Also, some walking flame acolytes have gone missing in the server. Sever. Not apart, not from your foundry, direct from your kid. Make sure you search the area. I want them located. The mortal woman dares command Jind and Nokfroz. Arrogant. Why does she need so many Dramora? Indeed. Sorry for my crazy ravings, by the way. It's this base. Oh, is there? I can fish in it. Good. The dyslexic reading these. Crazy journals of Dramora's ranting. Here's her playing ESO. It's a really interesting. Ooh. Complete confusion. It happens a few times a year. If you are lucky enough to capture. Ooh. More information over here, it seems. Seems like. <laughs> Might have missed something at the top there. We came here. And it goes further up, so let's head up. Oh, it could be the big Oblivion Siege Gate weapon that we saw in the main quest of the Elder Scrolls Oblivion. I think it's based in like the fourth era, so after the events of the Elder Scrolls and mine. Herbalist Satchel. Ooh, an imp stool. How pleasant. 5,679 en route to Pargrave, so she actually did find those Tremora. dungeon quest. Where am I right now? I'll go back down here. We. Please don't die. Oh, I cannot see any more notes. Must be some around here then. Take out these guys. Some healing. Hey man, glad I could catch a live stream. Thanks for joining, man. 
The Grimoires don't seem as intimidating as in Oblivion. Well, I guess, like, they're not all trying to kill you. You're just immortal. And they're just doing things that they deem to be more important. So, like Master, we said to him, I sense a death stone. If you find it, we may learn something. Okay. I'll have a look. Your death death. Inflicted 30 enemies with poison. Really, it took me that long. Jesus, all my weapons are poison. And then, with Lorcan's tears in. What I was looking for, alas. Ah, is this the Death Stone? Did I touch it? There's a dead body next to it. Let's touch it. I knew that lying King Marcher wouldn't release me. Even if I did translate the note stolen from Sister Saldina. Nakarov thinks he can make his own catalyst. Let them kill me. He'll never match Sister Saldina's brilliance. Ah, Nakarov seeks to undermine the mortal Saldina. Two factions vying for Lord Dagon's favor. Let us hope for rivers of blood. Rivers of Blood. I always hope for Rivers of Blood. I like how this cat has gone to Oblivion and back with me. Gone on many adventures. Alright, so we've got to head over here next. It's always annoying when you have those quests where you've just got to run around in circles finding all the quest objectives. What race, uh, what class am I? I'm playing a Nightblade. Nightblade is assassin. way down here. Only then to discover the answer of the universe. I have a full lot of thing there. Two hours of gameplay and a talking rat, yes. Exactly. Top keck gameplay there. Yeah. Here is the man. I thought Jind would slice your flesh to ribbons. You are sturdier than you appear. Mortals have too many expressions. Your face tells me nothing. Did you find anything at the foundry, or did you fail at your task? Seems counterintuitive. Have too many expressions, but your face says nothing. Dinder's trying to duplicate the cult's plan. Norkros wants to build his own catalog. For what purpose? Prince Dagon commanded Valknaz Novkros and his subordinates to assist the mortals of his waking flame cult. Or so I heard. If the mortals devised a tool for the prince's use, why would the Valknaz need one of his own? There's more. Sister Seldina ordered Jun to send over more Dremora. This reeks of mortal lies and trickery. Mortals do not enslave kin. And yet... I found signs left by my blade bearers. Kin of many clans gathered here before they were taken somewhere else. Yeah, dude, yeah. The Nightblade or any class in the Elder Scrolls Online can use any weapons from all of the ones that are available. You could even play a mage Nightblade that uses a staff, and that's actually a really good way of playing the game. It still, still works, you know? It's not like some things are better on stamina, some are better on magicka, but it still works. Should we go to the Stronghold? Yes. Kin are not to be used by mortals. The very thought offends me. I must find signs of my missing clanmates. Meet me near the jail of Xanoas. The area features many deep ravines. Do not fall into one and die. I love how straight to the point this guy is. All right. You are not a blade bearer. You have no means to perceive the secret symbols of my kin. We are of oblivion made of its substance it is a simple thing to leave an impression that others of our clan can sense any dramora can sense it how is it a secret we are blade bearers all the kin of my clan are packed bound one to another the clan pact unites us in purpose attunes us to each other i know my kin and can see what they wish me to see others cannot it is a connection that can never be broken. Not even by death. 
The Clan Pact shapes us. It defines our essential nature. Bladebearer is not an allegiance. It is what I am. What I ever yeah. will be. Should this form be destroyed, I will respawn in a new body. But the Clan Pact remains. We do not die. Mortal. Hey, it's like... It, the law is in the video game. You respawn, it's law friendly. We will investigate the Zivilize, I know us. I will meet you there, if you survive the journey. Why do you keep asking me if I'm going to survive? Mate, I've survived this far. Come on. Tell me some slack. Alright, so now we got ahead down here. I'm going to fast travel. Going to teleport. A mud crab and a wasp randomly start, started following me. I don't know why it's kind of cute, to be honest. <laughs> that sounds kind of adorable. Beat that. Zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Like a racetrack with this horse. Valiant speed. The Zivili will grind your mortal bones to ash if he sends you here. Zinoaz is one of Valknar's Novkroz's most fearsome underlings. He commands many Dremora. I do not know if he and Jind work together for their master or if they compete for his approval. What should I be looking for in the goal? Blade bearers Gale. would not allow themselves to be seen by you, so do not waste your time looking for them. Search for information about the mortal device that drew my scouts to this site. I will look for my kin. If I discover anything good, useful, how will I find you? You exhaust me with all these questions. Are all mortals so uncertain? There is a scout's camp north of Zinoaz's jail. I will await you there, but do not dawdle. My patience is extremely limited. I'll look for you beneath the northern cliffs after I'm done. Zivili are reckless creatures. They rely on wild emotion and brute strength instead of skill and strategy. Dangerous to the weak or the unwary. You are still here. Was I not specific enough in my warning? God damn, son, this guy is so triggered. What clan does the Nordza? Long to? I have no idea how I say that. Zivili are rarely bound to any clan. Sometimes they work together, but it never lasts. They are arrogant and do not like taking orders. Only the most powerful Daedric lords can compel their obedience. Such as Prince Dagon. Sounds like you don't think highly of them. You infer too much. I do not like or dislike Zivili. They are difficult allies, undisciplined, quick to change course as their whims sway them. One cannot guess their goals because they do not know themselves. Much like mortals, it seems. Yeah, you don't like mortals, do you? The few I have seen are foolish, weak, or mad. <laughs> there is no alliance with such creatures that would benefit my clan. Some Dremora see value in studying the doings of your kind, but not I. I leave that to Lyranth, the Fool Killer. Why'd you call her the Fool Killer? That is the name of her clan, so to me she is Lyranth, the Fool Killer, just as I am Rinkaius, the Blade Bearer. Do you not have clan names where you come from? Lyranth concerns me. I cannot discern what she truly intends in these matters. You don't trust her. Lyrantha's curiosity leads her down murky paths. Her unseemly interest in you has lessened her. No, that is unfair. It has made her different. She is someone to be wary of. That is as true for mortals as it is for Dremora. Remember, stay alert, mortal. You seem to handle yourself well. But the Zinoaz is dangerous. 
I swear this Senshi has a helmet now. It never used to have a helmet, right? It has like guards and boots and a helmet. I preferred it when it didn't have a helmet. Why does it have a helmet? Dislike that. The Daedric law is really cool. So if I'm sitting there just asking him all the law questions. He's like, I just love how he he thinks of the uh, the mortals I'm going the wrong way. Wee! And fly. Ah, here's some information. I'll save you, don't worry. I'll let you out though, sorry about that. The chess. What a poorly crafted runic crux. Whatever ritual they plan to use it for will most likely fail. Lol, he was not impressed. Come at me, Bone Colossus. The skeleton minions are no match for me, brother. Right, this is the next item. Approaches. Haven't I suffered enough? You are not one of these monsters. Daedra tormentors. They questioned me, wanted me to demonstrate how to inscribe the runes. I tried to resist. Tell Sister Seltina that I tried. Describe the runes for what? The Cataclysm's runic crux. The focus of its power. These Daedra wanted to make their own. I didn't tell them everything. Tell Sister Seltina. I did not reveal the Blind Seer's final gift. You upgraded stamina in the mount, so now it has a helmet. Oh, that sucks. I didn't know I could remove it in the settings. I'll have to have a look at that. The blind seer. I, I never met him, but he, he invented the cataclyst. We followed his schematics. The day of Lord Dagon's triumph draws near. I hope to see it. Damn Nokfras and his torturer. Where can I find this catalyst? Hidden. Safe. Nokfraz envies us, hates Sister Seltina. Nokfraz fears that mortals will bring about Lord Dagon's triumph. Not Tremora. So he had me tortured. Help me. What do you need? What? Why would I help him? He's like, he's like a crazy cultist. You serious? You want to help him? Oh, he's Weak. dead. He probably didn't even provide the torturer with much sport. Rip. He's dead now. Can we make it? We did not make it. Oh god. That was a painful mistake. Wait. Behind you. What's this up here? The summoning, eh? Oh! Summon this! Very interesting. Okay, so there should be some other artifacts up here somewhere. Near the water. Does anyone get annoyed when people talk way too long while dying? I know, right? Just hurry up and die. Really wanted to tell us about the mistakes he'd made in life, though. What's in the box? Oh, it's the Eye of Sauron. One of the two towers from Lord of the Rings. More scratchings? They really are trying to build their own cataclysm, master. 
left to right. Right, let's head back to our friend and tell him what we have learned. Burn or city. Are they gonna come over here and attack me? Oh yeah, they're there. This big Ramanakin. What an adorable creature he is. Do you mind? I'm trying to quest here. Ah. You have found information. Perhaps you have proven yourself a useful companion after all. Oh, surprise! What have you learned? Elliot, thanks for the donation. Waiting for Federal Skooma Trading Faction in the Elder Scrolls 6. Yes, let's legalize Skooma. He's trying to duplicate the cult's plans. Dokos wants to build his own catalyst. Of course. Rakan Asnav Kroz refuses to accept that the mortal followers of Merun's Dagon can succeed where he has failed. A useful insight. What else did you find out? I found some drawings and a runic crux. I learned that a blind seer invented this catalyst. Blind seer? That means nothing to me. <laughs> Nor can I make sense of the drawing. The runic crux, however. The work seems poorly done. Zynoaz's methods have their limitations. I found something as well. A hidden message from my blade bearers. Like the one you found at Jun's foundry. Do scouts find the catalyst? My kin learned little that we did not already know. They waited here, hoping to trail a waking flame messenger back to Sister Seldina. Since they are not here, it must have worked. Which leaves us no closer to finding this mortal device, or my kin. Well, Defective parts. Strange scribblings, the inventions of a blind seer. I hope Lyranth learned more in Fargrave. The inventions of a blind seer? Interesting. I believe we know his name. Elegion. That's what I remembered earlier. Lyranth helped me. Elegion? That old lunatic? He was locked in the blood pit last I knew. Did that Daytrat? Talk. This pathetic form holds Aerox the Mutilator, Titan of Destruction. Master, let's talk. Not so long ago, the Blood Pit trembled at the mere rumor of my approach. They cowered before me. I first encountered Elegion there. He was quite mad. Probably still is. I'm not sure what he'll be able to tell you, Master. The Deja just said the drawing sucks. I didn't appreciate the artwork. <laughs> What's the Blood Pit? How do you know Elegan? Elegan. The Blood Pit is a foul prison that I once oversaw. When I was cursed, I awoke there in this reduced form, cast down with others who offended Merun's Dagon. But that's where I met Elegian. He was locked in a prison within the prison. The Durin's file. Do you know who Elegion is or why he was in prison? <laughs> Master, I am not sure if Elegion knows who Elegion is or why he is there. You'll see. The Blood Pit lies northwest of Burning Gyre Keep. I can guide you. But the presence of powerful Daedra not aligned with Prince Dagon will be noticed. Noticed? What do you mean? The Blood Pit imprisons disloyal Daedra with mystic wards. Liranth and the Bladebearer would have to shatter those wards to enter. Mortals? The walls and locks are enough to bar your path. Your Dremora allies cannot come with us. Won't the ward stop you too, though? I was imprisoned there before I escaped. Only ah. to be captured by the Collector. Damn his many eyes! They never were able to overcome my natural immunity to the wards. Something to do with my position.
before I was cursed, I imagine. Do I want to know what you did on the blood pit before you were a dead rat? <laughs> <coughs> Probably <laughs> not. Mortals are delicate about such things. The blood pit is a cruel place, master. Prince Dagon sends his enemies there to suffer. Mortal prisoners do not last long, unless they are valuable in some way. Georgetta, I'm sorry it's hard for you to read the text. I cannot make it any bigger after that. Sorry to say. Hop in my pack, Arox. Let us depart, Master. Let's and meet the blood, the blood pit. pit. If I know Elagion, maybe he knows me. Who are you anyway? You look like an idiot. You mysterious person. All right, let's quickly discover this location. Then we can head back around. Look at this guy. Who's this? We can kill this guy. That looks cool. Me up. Wow. Fire behemoth. Come at me, fire behemoth. I'm not impressed. I have found you unworthy. Give me your 18 gold. What's, that? What's this? A herbalist satchel. That herbalist must have got fried. Thankfully, she's dropped a stink horn. Get him. I want the heavy sack next to him. Very big, but not much. Dropped an epic item. Platinum uh, ring of reduced spell cost. Great. Deconstruct that. Uh, oof. Okay, so. We must go over here. It's actually faster for me to walk there. I do believe. Lots to worry. I shall fly over there. The blood pit. Ancient prison of the Daedra. Oh my god, it reminds me of that scene with Gollum and Lord of the Rings. Hobbit Shire. You know the one I mean. What is the fastest way across? I think we have to go down there. Across the blood pit. Oh, hello. I thought I thought she was gonna say hello, but he's shooting arrows at me. Ow. Damn it. Wait, can I not move for like ten minutes here? Must have been the wind. The watcher up here. Dude, oh my god, like these abilities that stop your horse from moving are a nightmare. They're just an annoyance. Hello there. Man, you're ugly. Jesus Christ. Ugliest character I've seen in my life. Must purge him. So this is the entrance. This is the person we need to meet. Over here, friend. No one's come in or out while I've been waiting. What do you mean? I just came out. Are you actually... Can you even see out of that mask? The blood pit. If names are omens, then this is a dire one. After what Aerox told us about the place, I admit I wouldn't want to set foot there until we exhausted every other lead we had. Do you think you might have been imprisoned here? I'm not sure. Wouldn't a place like this leave scars you couldn't forget? Oh, you do have that mask. If you didn't meet Elgain here, where else would you know him from? I don't know. And what does it matter? However we met, I just hope Elegion can tell me who I was before this mask was adhered to my face. It would also be nice if he can tell us something useful about the Riven Cataclyst. Maybe she's the blind person who... Blind Seer. Knows. I feel like she's actually integral to the story, but she just doesn't remember who she is, so she could actually be an enemy. We just have, you know, she's not realized that because she's trying to help us and find out who she is. If she does realize it and the mask is removed, and then maybe it's all just. Go. All 
right, so let's go down into this area. There, an overseer. Let's see what's going on. Oh, what, the, the great I eye? Was useless. All he did was babble about nonsense. He is becoming resistant to the elixir, Valkinar's knock cross. There's nothing to be done. Nothing to be done? Be grateful that I am not my predecessor, Aerox the Mutilator. Ah. So Aerox the Mutilator used to be in charge? Knockcross is weak. I would have killed the Overseer for her failure. <laughs> Makes sense after what he said as well. Okay. Aerox is the jungle character. Best character in this DLC so far. Careful. Overseer on the left. Ah, Valkanar's Nocthros. Do you have any idea when we can expect Aerox the Mutilator to return? Aerox never left. I had him cursed. Turned him into a daydrap. Nocthros? He did this to me? The bloodless ash pile! Improve the elixir before I return. And forget Aerox. He's no longer your concern. We'll see about that. Can we avenge Aerox? Riker, thanks for the $5 donation. Been watching you for years. Love your videos. Your text to speech videos helped me when I first started Skyrim. My god, that was way back, dude. Thanks for the support, man. And I'm glad you've been watching all this time. That is awesome to hear. Let's go and kill this watcher. This giant. Oh, tentacle. I have fallen. Help me, brother. Look at that giant eyeball. What a disgusting mess he is. Go and explore a little bit more. Maybe we can find the next meeting. Perhaps. Beyond this the warden's here. overlook is nearby. The entrance is a portal. We might find the location of Elegiac Stuck Five there. Very well. These guys are drunk. Oh, man. I'll save you, bro. Don't worry. Oh, you're back. Another herbalist satchel. How do you get the dagger flip? It's uh, one of the personalities that exists that you can unlock in the game. Uh, I think it's the assassin personality. Very much befits my character. Ooh, look at this. It squishes you in two pieces. Blood pit prisoner roll. Or the map. Pick the map. A 10 out of 10 map there. Wow. That map was obviously drawn by a prisoner. A list of prisoners held in the blood pit. The name Elegan appears to be near the top of the list, which is a notation. Confined in the Durance Vial by special order in the southwest section of the prison. Near the bottom of the list, under the secret prisoner, you notice the name Aerox the Mutilator. Beside the name is the notion Gone Missing or possibly eaten by immortal prisoners. Either way, don't tell Belkanaz Look up there! Nokros returns! Have you completed your interrogation, Valkanaz Nokros? Nothing fire, but a sir. waste of time. Just more of the same. Secure the Durance file until I return. I must go. That tiresome mortal Selgina insists on my presence. Improve the elixir before my next interrogation. He's getting away! I'll kill him! <laughs> Hello there, brother. You look ugly. I wish you could have fired that ballista out at the other person. It would have been exciting. Right, now we've got 
ahead down here. Into the lair That's it. prison. The Durance vial. In we go. I remember the smells of this place. The old seer should be behind a glowing door. So close, but one more obstacle. Any ideas? Gotta activate the portal. Oh, we need to use these gems again. Oh, well, so does she have to re-explain it to me? Here we go. If Aerox is right, Ella Gion is behind that glowing door. That's a lot of security for one old blind seer, though. I guess we need to figure out how to open Ella Giant's cell if I really want to talk to him. Having second thoughts, I figured you'd be eager to find out what Ella Giant knows about your part. Yeah, I thought so too. But what if something in my past is terrible? What if that's why I can't or won't remember? All right, let's do this. I think we can use lucent crystals. Just like back at the bathhouse in the shambles. Lucents remind me about those. Lucents. Oh my god, I don't. I Goodbye, thank you. I remember. There's a rune of unsealing on the balcony above. It unlocks the cell door. Look master. over there. A charged lucent. Grab it and place it in the discharge labyrinth beside the displacer. Like I'm stupid. Okay. Apparently, though, on the balcony, there's actually a way of just opening it with a lever. Pretty useful. Conveniently charged. Now place the charged loosen yes, the discharge lever. Going. I see discharge labyrinths on the balcony above. Find some. Let's just pull the lever. Like the master run speaks true. We need charged lucents. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking. Doing my best to find them. Okay, so there's one down here. Go. Made them quest markers now. I oh, want to spend any amount of time scavenging and. The one down here. Yes, there is. We can just go ahead and charge these. Good to go. I'm a thief assassin type character. Exactly, you've got it. Why would it upset you if the game looked good? Now. Oh. Two charged crystals. Easy. Now we can activate them. The car is also the name of a stealth archer in Skyrim. Yep. Correct. Owned building. Look at this. Imagine if, like, the decoration in your house was serrated blades on the wall. Pretty strange. Hurry! Oh, activate magic the rune button. of unsealing before an overseer comes round. Good. The sooner we finish with the old seer, the sooner we can punish Nockfrost. That did it. <laughs> now let's see what Ella. A noise. Is someone there? No. No more visions. I don't want to drink anymore. Drink, drink, sink. <laughs> the blind seer is mad. I warned you, master. That's him. It did. The old man in my memory. Talk to him and see if he remembers me. Can you hear all of them? I hear all of them. Pour the season on the coals. All good children get sweet rolls. Ah, oh, the mad gods. I think he's read an Elder Scroll. El Gang, can you hear me? Where can we find Riven, the Riven Catalyst? More questions? No more questions. Is it the season of blossoms yet? That was always my favorite. You're not making any sense, man. All my ideas gone. They poured them out, and now I'm an empty bottle. So empty. Sometimes everything is right again. Usually not. Needs a schooner. So many, many questions. I won't answer them unless... Unless... Do you smell flowers? 
flowers, cowers, showers. Nokros mentioned an elixir, didn't he? If you can find one, maybe it'll calm him down. Taste of spring red sounds like about. rendered oak leaf oh, flats. Oh, on the cold I have come I made my kill the seer. I was going to pick up this potion. That smells wrong. All heat and mortal sweat. Trust me. Oh, bile. Delicious. But probably not what you'd use to clear them. How about this skooma? That bottle smells of nerd. I hate it, but this ridiculous nose of mine is not wrong. Try it, master. Pour it on the braziers. Pour it onto the floor, mate. Oops. There we go. That seems to have worked. Quickly, ask him about the Riven Cataclyst. We don't know how long he'll remain lucid. My mind grows still, free of those awful visions. I do not know you, stranger, but I thank you. And the others I hear. The elixir grants me only a few moments of clarity, so speak swiftly. What do you ask of me? Why are you wearing these dirty robes? We're looking for the catalyst. Can you help us? That vile creation. Not for us, was just here asking about it. The Riven Cataclyst is my burden, my punishment, my greatest sorrow. I did not realize the purpose my designs would be turned to. Why do you seek it? To destroy it, just into the fire. The incarnates it creates threaten Fargrave and Nern. Yes, I believe you speak true. Destroying it would be good. You can get to the Cataclyst by going to Annihilarch's summit. Nukfraz speaks freely in my presence. He thinks me mad, that I hear nothing. Well, I am mad, and blind, but I'm not deaf. My companion, the Anchorite. You know her. The Anchorite? No, I've not heard that word. But I sense my work. She wears my mask, doesn't she? I crafted that cursed item. It suppresses memories, both the wearers and those who knew the wearer. Everyone forgets. <laughs> Speak quickly, stranger. Tell me more about the mask. I cannot tell you who I made the mask for or why. The enchantment I devised does not simply abolish the wearer's memories. It erases the wearer from the memory of anyone who knew her. Jesus. Whoever she was, that person is forgotten. But I haven't forgotten her. Of course not. The mask hides who she was, not who she is now. Think twice before you seek to unbind the mask from your friend. That curse was most likely put in place for her own protection. Who are you? How did you end up in this place? Or, thank you, Elgain. We'll take care of the catalyst. Why is this a weird choice? We only get to ask, ask one of these. Is that what that means? Let's ask him, who are you? Long ago, I was a moth priest. Ah, oh, I was right. I read from the Elder Scrolls and paid for the knowledge I gained with my sight. But while Morakar was still Emperor, I was abducted by the servants of Beirun Stagon. They brought me to the Deadlands. Why did you design this catalyst for them? Dagon's servants broke me. Drove me mad with torment and illusions until I no longer knew what was real and what was nightmare. The Cataclysm design is but one product of my delirium. And by far the worst, I fear. We can help you escape. There is no escape for me. 
Madness is my prison. Much more so than this cell. The elixir never lasts very long. Better to leave me here. If you take me away, Dagon's servants will know we talked. They will be warned. Thank you. We'll take care of the catalyst. You seem like a kindly old owl. I wish I could help you. A kindly old owl? I remember. A young girl called me that once. I... I have something for you. Something for me? What is it? This amulet. I've been saving it for so long. For you, I think. Now mm. go. My mind. Kind. Blind. Blind. It fills with a storm. A sewer on the east wall. That's our exit, Master. We should hurry and return to Wretched Spire. Goodbye, old owl. Let's meet back at Wretched Spire. Really cool storyline so far. He remembered really enjoying my mask it. and this amulet, but he didn't remember me. What is that, a mobile phone? Or an amulet? All right, well, we need to read, meet back at the wretched spire. Blah, blah, blah. Just over here. Uh, we might as well head over to this way shrine to pick it up. So, I'm interested to see what this creation they have to break through Nern is. Could it be the same construction that we saw in the Elder Scrolls Oblivion? We don't know. Jesus. Voice acting is actually really good in ESO. I think so anyway. I 100% agree with you, dude. Like, voice acting is so high end. Like, it's pleasurable to sit there and listen to the quests. I feel like this DLC so far as well is really good. I fe felt like um, the Dark Hearts of Skyrim, the second part of that DLC in Markath, was quite disappointing compared to the first half. That was also like, okay. Whereas this, like, so far, really enjoying it. It's actually, I'm enjoying the second part of the story more than the first part. First part was okay, but like, this part's even better. I think the rat character really helps. Interesting. You appear to have survived <laughs> Dagon's worst prison and suffered little to no damage. And your demeanor suggests that you succeeded in your mission. Though the Anchorite seems distressed. Tell me, what happened in the blood pit? We found Elgin. Told us that we can find the Riven Catalyst by going to Anilark Summit. I know Anilark Summit. A high peak in the Sever. Inhospitable to mortals, and Dramora for that matter. Few go there. It would be a perfect place to hide the Riven Cataclyst. But what's wrong with the Anchorite? Did Elegyne recognize her? No, but he... No, but he made her mask. Said it makes her forget her past, and makes those who know her forget her. Did he know? The Cataclyst and the mask. This Elegyne is clever indeed. I am more determined than ever to examine the Riven Cataclyst in detail. We must also keep the Waking Flame from misusing it, of course. So let's head to the summit and finish this. Patience, mortal. You have done well. Take pride in your accomplishments and accept this minor token of my appreciation. With Rinkaius, Aerox, and the Anchorite at our side, we may yet complete both our missions. Prepare yourself. We move out shortly. Oblivion's Explorer Garb. I'll have a look at that in a moment. Look at us, little mortal. Forced to accept the word of a blind old seer. Imprisoned and driven mad in Mehrunes Dagon's blood pit. If Elegyne is to be believed, we'll find Sister Saldina and the Riven Cataclyst at the summit. 
What do you know about the summit? I have heard of the location. A barren peak scoured by winds that flay flesh from bone. A good oh, place yeah. to build a secret retreat, provided the walls can withstand the constant winds. Sister Saldina has taken great care to hide the Riven Cataclyst. Seem you have a plan. Always. With Rinkaius and his blade bearers beside us, yes. we will fight our way to the Riven Cataclyst. When I have seen what I need to, you can destroy the device. Meet us at the base of an Ilark summit, provided you want to be part of this. I'll meet you at the summit. Grab the Daedrat and the prepare battle. yourself. The dangers of an Ilark summit are enough to make even a Dramora pause. I assume we will have to deal with both Nockfrost's forces and the Order of the Waking Flame along the way. What if Sister Saldina has already created an army of incarnates? That seems unlikely. Hmm. If Saldina already had such an army, she would deploy it at once. Remember, she is eager to conquer Fargrave and earn Prince Dagon's favor. Still, I do not think we have much time before that changes. The incarnates we saw were practically mindless, and so didn't actually control an army of them? The incarnates we encountered were indeed mindless engines of destruction. The Dramora within no longer thinks. All it knows is power and rage. Sister Saldina directs these living weapons for now, but Valkanaz Nakfraz wants this power too. Why are Daedra volunteering to become these creatures anyway? Volunteer? The very thought is repugnant. Do you not understand how we value what makes us who we are? To surrender to such a process is to be destroyed. The essence survives, but the mind, the purpose, gone forever. Do you imagine they had a choice? Well, if we destroy the catalyst, wouldn't they just make another one? Well... Possibly. But each time we delay the Waking Flame, we make it less likely that Elegion's mad vision becomes a reality. Although it might have been for the best if you had... removed Elegion while you were in the Blood Pit. Elegion has something to do with the Anchorite. He made her Mars. Hmm... If Elegion can create something as powerful as the Riven Cataclyst, or as subtle as the Anchorite's Mask, what else might he devise? One never knows how a talent such as that might prove useful. Probably should have killed him, to be honest. Remind me how we know the Riven Cal Catalyst is at the summit. Has the Anchorite's Mask affected you as well? If you insist. I summoned you to Fargrave to investigate the Waking Flames Incarnates, Living disaster. Well, we don't, we don't listen to that. We do that. I'll meet you at a Nihilarch summit, but we should be careful. I expect that both Sister Seldina and Nockfrost may be there. Tell me that we will find Nockfrost at a Nihilarch summit, Master. Oh, he has so much to answer for. If you smash him to the ground so I may reach him, I will gnaw his face off. Yes. Do you have any idea? How he changed you into this form? I kind of prefer him in this form. I think he's awesome. No. Nokvraz is no mage. He must have found some relic or forgotten curse to transform me into this Daedrat body. And he must have caught me off guard. Otherwise, I would have destroyed him the moment he struck at me. I hope you'll become more observant when we reach the summit. You dare insinuate? No offense, they're just a stupid mortal. <laughs> Nokvras never dared display a hint of disloyalty, let alone challenge me for my place as Prince Dagon's champion. I would have crushed him into a paste. Can we go now? Up in my pack. Yes, Master. We... To the base of Annihilarch Summit, Master. Nokvras must pay for this insult he has forced upon me! <laughs> Such an awesome character, man. Alright, let's check out this costume that we unlocked. Okay. Like a little Oblivion Explorer garb. 
I like the backpack. The leather outfit. Maybe my sword clips for it though. Definitely gonna have to take that off. The bag's cool though. I wish they had a separate backpack slot, like in Skyrim. Out of that. Very exciting. So now we need to go to the summit located just over here on the map. But guys, what I'm going to do now is I think I'm going to end today's stream here. And then tomorrow on the weekend, we'll do like a long stream. And we will continue the storyline. But thank you so much for watching this episode. If you hang around, it will take you to the next stream. So you can uh, set a reminder for tomorrow's stream and you don't miss it. But don't forget, G Fuel is 30% off from the link below in the description. Use code ESO to get that 30% off. Uh, and also, we've actually grouped up with Apex PC to complement our Skyrim mod list and our Fallout mod list and our Witcher mod list. We're making so many mod lists on the website now that we actually um, thought we'd work together with this company called Apex who make custom builds of PCs and we've got three different budget systems. Um, and my fiance has actually been using one of them for two years so I thought we'd work with this company uh, and build free systems that you can also customize yourself based on your own budget. If you want to check them out, they're also linked below as well. If you're looking to get into building a new PC. You just got here. Don't worry, dude. I'll be streaming again tomorrow for like a, a long time. But I've been streaming for like three hours now. This stream's going to be saved afterwards so you can watch it through and you can catch up to where we are in the story. Um, but there are some really cool bits. I think at the start of tomorrow's stream, um, this it will take you there automatically and it's linked down below in the playlist. Make sure you set a reminder so you don't miss it going to start at the same time as today's stream but we're going to be opening these crown chests i reckon at the start so we'll do like a big crown chest opening i really want to get i've never i've never brought any crown chests before but i really want to get this round i want to get this so tomorrow we're going to open it up we'll see see what we get i'll see you there